What's up, danger? Time for Dark Souls and literally nothing else. Well, okay, maybe makeup. Bras are a symbol of the patriarchy and should be burned. Also, your mum's a symbol of the patriarchy. I'm never gonna get Twitch partner, am I? Lol.
As you can quite plainly see, I haven't put my face on yet, and I've replaced the plushies on my bed with things that are far more cuddly. Thank you. How's it going, folks? Welcome to your mum's place. I mean, we could, we could, you're on the television, I mean, technically speaking, we could be on the television. Um, I'm, I think somebody mentioned once, yeah, I'm putting a ring light right in front of my face, by the way, um, that they do watch me on TV, which is kind of strange. I think I might be on someone's television. Back when I was a kid, that was a fascinating thing. Nowadays, it's kind of like, well, you can just literally record yourself and put yourself on the TV. It's not that special. But it's the principle of the thing. Anyway. We're doing makeup. There we go. This is how I'm going to look for the entire duration of the stream. <laughs> See, if I do this, you can't point out any of the imperfections in my face because I'm literally just a ghost. How's it going? Welcome to the road room. Do you room, think or you'd not. get any wider, babe? Yeah, I know. I'm about as white as they come. And, like, look at this. Flex. Oh, you might get some Oos. Burn. There we go. Babe, you might get sunburned, be careful. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so yeah. They're all just, we're just hanging. We're just vibing. Um, if anyone was curious, we're gonna do my makeup. Um, I need to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna be like, fiddling with the color here, but this is like the best way I've found to do my makeup. So I'm gonna put my, oh, give me a sec. <laughs> All right, there we go. I've moved the microphone so it's closer, but like this is very tricky. So we're doing we're doing makeup. I haven't done anything yet. Watch this. No nose ring. It's gone now. It's a magic trick. I got rid of it. You can now applaud. I can. You mean this one? Hello. What do you want? You want? Do you want makeup? Oh yeah, I was gonna say, do you want girls cam? And I can just put it on YouTube, but like... <laughs> we could do this, we could do Game that. Game a moment, oh my, my... This is the problem though, is like, this is all washed out. I could probably, feasibly, do this, alright? So, let's try this thing. This You're is... really gonna be really close up. Yeah, I'm gonna be really close up, let's see if this works. Your name is Legally Maya, fucking based, well done. Can we get some applause in chat? I would say do a slash chat, but I'm pretty sure as of right now they've removed them. Now. There we go. Look at that. Holy shit. Hey. Hi. Oh. Here. That's actually a pretty good angle. We got we got lesbians Mommy. in the background and the lesbian flag in the back background. Look, girls. Mommy. Sorry. Les lesbian. No, don't stop making out. Just a little kiss. <laughs> little kiss. Mm. There we go. So I can do this. Um, I don't have my trans pride ring Thank on, you. but I'm gonna show this off again because it's sick. Look at that. Out of piece gear. Out of piece gear. Look at this. Focus on the fucking ring, you stupid wank. It's not gonna do it. Those are my weed smoking girlfriends. Yes, they do the marijuanas without me. I've, I've never done the marijuanas. Oh, one of you. Do you know how to dampen a um, sponge? Makeup sponge. Uh, yeah. I didn't do it and I have to be entertained. Oh, you can still chant! Oh my god! Huh? A little bit open if you want, yeah. Sith Brat, why the fuck weren't you following? I don't know, but you're here now. So we're now, you can do it. We actually can do a chant for probably the rest of today and that'll be it. Anyway. <clears throat> Call weed bread. What? What? You have a joint in your mouth. How dare you? And you're not sharing? What the fuck? Anyway. Um, I'm just not on the camera. You're not on the camera. Aww. It's fine. It's like right there in the center here. There's, there's, there's an added covering. <laughs> <laughs> now you're both over there. I think you guys have like grown out of their head. Uh, yep. Um, it's 5 a.m. though. Okay, go get some sleep. Cotton, you too. Go to bed. Have a good one. Thanks for showing up my girlfriend collection. Yes, we got we got girls. Girls, girls, girls. It's, it's like fucking... Oh, where's the other one of these? Cat, fuck off. I'm using... I'm going to be using these tonight. The quick flick. We're going to do some makeup. I'm missing... There we go. I got these things right. Which are pretty sick. They are wing stamps. Get this. 
They're little stamps that you like. You don't have to do like a proper wing thing. So that's that's the thing I'm gonna do. I'm trying to go through all of my products right now to decide what I need, and like I'm gonna have to leave them to entertain you for a minute while I go wet my makeup sponge because I didn't do it. And then we're gonna do Dark Souls three once I'm once I look pretty. Pardon? <laughs> if that's not a euphemism. <laughs> no. Because I bought a TOS doesn't mean I. Didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all bought a TOS here. Anyway, if you want, yeah. Will you do it for me? Nah. Dampen me makeup. There it is. It's still not bad, but it needs a proper dampening. Phoebe, how you doing? Um, we're gonna get started with this shit. This is Sukin facial moisturizer because you gotta make sure your face is moist before you do this kind of thing. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. By all means, you could have a shit makeup and skincare routine. Like, no skincare routine. Like, you, you don't Hi. necessarily have to do these things if you don't want to. In the same way that you don't have to play Dark Souls all the way to completion and 100%. But the um, downside of both of those things is if you don't do either of them, I won't respect you. So, you know. Is that wide enough for you? That is. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Anyways, I moisturized. I had, I had eyeshadow and mascara on before, but you know, uh, I chucked a temper tantrum and cried my eyes out, so I had to take it off. Anyway. <laughs> How are you? Hi, I have mental health issues. Um, that was something I was thinking about today. Um. Is there bacon flavor makeup? You're not supposed to fucking eat it. Oh yeah, we have cat. Here is pussy. I'm showing my pussy on stream. And my and my feline pet. And your dog. Yeah, my, yeah, my cat and my dog. Sweet. I need you both to have eternity collars. But anywho. Um, <laughs> you can just put a regular collar on. Whatever. Anyway, mental health issues are not fun, but I was thinking about this today. This was a thing that I was having a bit of a ruminate on while I was in the car. Um, I also need primer. Where's my primer? Primer foundation. We'll talk about this in a sec. Because it's a thing. It is a whole entire thing. In particular, what kind of color do I want to wear in terms of eyeshadow? Or do I not want to do eyeshadow? Get off. No, he keeps stealing my chair. Look at this little wanker. He keeps taking my chair. He a wanker. Yes, he is. He's a wanker, mate. He's getting he's getting pats whether he likes it or not. Cat go burr. Oh, you have a collar. Wait. Ow, 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 ow. He had his claw dug into my bloody armpit. What's that? That's my... I got a BYS palette. Okay, we're gonna do red. We're gonna do red under the under the eyeliner, which is probably gonna look like shit, because BYS is incredibly fucking cheap. Oh, like, huh? Oh yeah. Soph's got a palette. Let's have a look at what you got. Two in there, actually. Oh sweet. We're gonna play with some colors. Anywho, he's fucking handsome, is he not? He is the he is the pa handsomest. You know, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. So on the back of this palette, look. You can see what colors are in it, right? I have been makeup shopping in recent times and I've picked up palettes to look at them and they're sealed. They're completely sealed. You can't, there's no like window. And you look at the back and it's got a bunch of boxes just like this, but they just have names in them. That you, you can't see the colors. And I'm like, it kind of defeats the fucking point, doesn't it? Anyway, these look a lot nicer actually in terms of reds. We'll use one of those. Reds are nice. Reds are nice. Aww, cute. Anyway, yeah, we're just vibing. Also, just, uh, they do come off very lightly, so, like, you'll want to go pretty heavy handed with the actual brush. Okay, uh, speaking of brushes, have I showed you all? Yeah, it's, it's dumb. I don't understand, like, what's the point? Somebody please explain to me the point of not showing the makeup in the makeup palette. Anyway, did I show you these? Before we get into it, I'm almost shiny, I'm glossy. You want to be glossy and shiny and stuff. I'll put primer on in a sec, which will even out my colors. Oh no! I lost my brushes. When I was in Melbourne recently, we went into a shop and I got that done, right? Same and also, the same shop 
had these cute as fuck makeup brushes. They weren't very expensive, so I can't imagine they're exactly like Sephora quality or whatever, but they're so nice. And there was 60-ish bucks, 64 bucks. Yours were about the s Oh no, you bought different ones, yeah. 120, but you got them for 20 bucks. So she had a hundred dollar Sephora gift voucher, so fucking you, captive. bitch. How dare you? <laughs> uh, no, you have a $50 oh, true. Let's get back to Sephora. That's <laughs> there is a Sephora. I'm not going to say where because we're not going to dox ourselves on this stream, but you know. But there is a Sephora about, say, 40 ish minutes away from me, so. I want to be glossy and shiny. Use Dulux. Are we going to start advertising products? I mean, I already I already showed you my Sook and Moisturizer. Sook on my balls! Got him! Sook has now withdrawn their, <laughs> um, their uh, email that they, they were, were about, sending they were you for a sponsorship. Sook and, Sook and product rep was just typing out a, a tweet DM. It's like, hi, we'd like to take you on as a representative of our brand. We see you are using our product on the street. Oh, never mind. Hit the backspace. <laughs> anyway, I'm putting green shit on my face. Look, it's green shit. Um, it's Color Corrector by... Revol what is it? Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. They just cl they block my account. I go and check the Sook and Twitter account later on, and they've got I'm blocked. So now it's time to make myself look like a fucking clown, which you know I am. But, anyways, look at this shit. Aggressively blows his battle horn and causes a storm and the wrath of the gods. Oh, oh my god, are you Petrus of Thoroland with your wrath of the gods shit? Yes, I remember the fucking cleric NPC's name from the first. From filing shrine in Dark Souls One, what of it? You're gonna start shit with me because I know my Dark Souls lore, and this is a Dark Souls stream now. Come on, get at me. Ask me a trivia question about Dark Souls. I bet I can answer it. <laughs> We're gonna make it worse for me. I'm gonna use products, and then I'm gonna trash on the companies. Okay, that I'm that I'm using the products of. What Dark Souls do help? Yes, that's a question. Just a reminder, Maybelline crit tests on animals. Yes, don't use Maybelline. Maybelline fucking sucks. I have something. Actually, I don't know if I have Maybelline. I've got Rimmel, um, which might be questionable because, you know, corporations. Um, are they... Oh, yeah, those... Fuck. We have Maybelline. Yeah, I was gonna say babe. We've got Maybelline Superstay lipsticks. Don't use Maybelline, they're trash. Revlon. I'm pretty sure Revlon's bad, too, actually. They're makeup companies. They're going to be atrocious. There's not much we can do about that. There are some good ones, but... but they're not, like, well-known like that. Lime Crime is good. They're vegan. Um, not that that necessarily makes one good. I mean, I, would, I dare say a lot of people who work for PETA are also vegan. But they might also be Nazis, for all we know. They probably would be. They drown kittens. That's bad enough. Anyway... Are any good? I mean, this this comes back to that whole "there's no ethical consumption under capitalism" thing. So, here's my my aggressive stance on that: consume as unethically as humanly possible. Just go out of your way to make everyone else's lives miserable while you're consuming. You know, that's that's the way we should do things. Yeah, just treat service workers like trash. No, don't do that. Actually, literally, don't do that. Don't take that seriously. Um, <laughs> if nothing else, if you do nothing else good in your life, if you do no good deed any day of the week, at the very least, treat your service workers with respect. Please, for the love of fucking God, they deal with cunts all day. And don't treat your sex workers like therapists. Don't treat your sex workers like therapists. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, depends. What you've told me about SW wages is comparable to what I was paying when I was seeing a therapist. So, you know, Peter drowns kittens. I mean, there has been ever there's been documented evidence of Peter abusing and killing animals and euthanizing more animals than like local shelters and things of that nature. So, there's my foundation. That looks pretty good. So, what have we done so far? We've done 
uh, moisturizer, primer, and foundation. So, uh, by the way, the foundation I'm using, you can't see the label of because it's... Oh, there we go. It's Oxbloom. Which is like Kmart trash. Um, this is literally garbage and my camera won't focus on it because it doesn't want you to buy this product because it's cheap trash. OXX Bloom. Uh, Peter euthanized because it's better to be dead than a pet. Yeah, I can't imagine. They also did kidnap dogs, if I recall correctly. I did read something about that. Also, please forgive my eyebrows. They well, they are in atrocious state right now. <laughs> like, one of them I've been bringing to a high taper over here. And unfortunately, this one goes to a low taper. And I'm waiting for these to grow out again so I can, like, trim from under here instead of over here. I've fucked that up so badly. I don't know how I did it. But yes, Peter are generally not a, uh, a good company to associate yourselves with. That's great because they're not a company. Well, they're not a company, you know what I mean. An organization? Is that a better word for it? Yeah. yeah, organization. Throw them in the bin. You have trouble deciding if you'd rather be a pet or be dead sometimes. Oh, hey, relatable, bestie. So relatable. Why not just be both? Yeah, exactly. Por que no las dos? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably racist. Don't call me out on Twitter for it. <laughs> Clipped and shipped. Post me on live stream fail. <laughs> Vosh. 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 Well, he's American. Of course, he's going to pronounce it Vosh. Smosh. Smosh. Ew. Why would you? All right, I've got a, I've got an eyeshadow brush here. This might work. Um. I need to clean it though, cause it's dirty. Um. So they take dogs from private homes and have had activists who are the, who they've distanced them blah, 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 who've distanced themselves from convicted of kidnapping pets in the street and taking them to Peter shelters, and yeah, like some people do. This is one of the things I think. Fortunately, right? Fortunately, broadly speaking, and I have no idea how they stick around. Um, I think most people are aware of the fact that Peter is an absolute fucking dumpster fire of an organization. Yeah, I would I would be shocked to find out there are people who don't see Peter as an as a bad entity, which astounds me because they keep chugging along somehow. If there is any, actually, here's a thing: if there's any proof that cancel culture doesn't exist, Peter's still around somehow after literal decades of everyone exposing how trash they are. You know, <laughs> you would think somebody, some bundle of folks, i.e human people in droves uh, would have said, you know, we're not going to support this company anymore. But uh, or no, not company, organization. Mm -hmm. How do they get, how, how, is there someone funding them? I'm a bundle of them. They're charity based. They're charity based. Okay, so that's the thing. They're a non-profit organization. I, I'm going to call bullshit on Put that. A non-profit organization. I'm going to say like, yeah, okay. Okie dokie. The, the profit goes to killing small animals. Um... But who is donating and why? Yeah, right. Okay, so we're putting... Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing this peach. Uh, this is the Peach 2 palette by BYS. And we're doing this color here. This one, which I can't really show you because I've got a very tenuous grasp on this. This one here. Fucking hell. I could, okay, let me do this properly. Hold still. Makeup. Why do they make these things so wide? This one. Okay. For the avoidance of doubt, the following statement is ba made based on the FBI designation of ALF as a terrorist organization. Peter has links to the ALF. Uh, watch the Penn and Teller bullshit episode on Peter. By the way, I love that show. Um, some of you might have thoughts on Penn Jillette in particular, but the show is good. Anyway, I am using this particular style of brush, which is flat and it's got very packed bristles. Really good for putting eyeshadow on. Anyway, I could, yeah, but I do want to try. I want to use my own some more because they're like um. True, that's one thing I've been wondering about actually with regards to doing makeup artistry professionally, which I don't think I'm at the level at just yet. But it is something I want to consider in the future, is you know use of products and cleaning and all these kinds of things. There's going to be a lot in there, and it's something I am looking at, it's something I am considering, is doing makeup as a job. Anywho's, just a few thoughts. 
that. Just a few thoughts here in my stream. Are we allowed to use that word? I mean, TOS is so vague on this fucking website, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell what's going to get you banned and what's not. I mean, it was just like yesterday that I saw a clip circulating of a dude. Hi, Sneak. How you doing? Who literally pulled his balls out on stream and started shaving them. And he got a three-day suspension for it. Three days he got. Meanwhile, I got an indefinite suspension because my name contained the word bitch, but I replaced the I with an X. You were, it was, I got an it indefinite. Butch, it, was butch. it was Butch. It was Butch. No, nobody can prove to me that it wasn't supposed to say Butch, right? But my account caught an indefinite suspension, which eventually got repealed, thankfully, after about a week. Because I kicked up a fucking stink on social media. I made people aware of the fact that it was bullshit. But literally, if I didn't do anything, Twitch would have been happy to let my account, st my account stay banned for a fucking username. Meanwhile, this dude who pulls his testicles out and starts shaving them, and what's hilarious is he started nicking himself, right? He started cutting himself accidentally and bleeding, so haha, fuck you, dude. Um, and he gets a confirmation of just a three-day, 72-hour suspension. I mean... Come on, prove to me that this is not an, a heinously sexist website. I mean, come on, dude. Who would want to see that even? Perverts? Probably. Whereas Anatomic got permaban for being trans. True, true. Um, she was streaming in the hot tub category, just copped a ban and, yeah. Um, was no longer allowed to stream on the site. Which is fucking stupid. There's no valid reason for it because there were other... Streamers in the same vein doing the exact same style of content and yet for some reason a trans femme cops a permaban for it. What's that about? No, 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 no. no I'm, as far as I know Anne is still banned. Um, anyways. At least learn to shave your nuts before you do it on stream. It's only logical, right? You know? So there we go. We got a bit of red there to start us off. Yeah, just wax your nuts. What are you doing? Why are you shaving them? If you're going to do anything about your nuts on stream, use wax. And do your butthole while you're at it. Use Nair on your butthole, actually. There you go. Pro tip from someone who removes the hair from their butthole. Use Nair on it. So good. It's genuinely good advice. <laughs> just uh, burn those babies away. What? Hot wax. Yeah, hot wax. Be sure to get it in the hole too, because you know, like some of those hairs, they sort of grow. Just... Yeah, I should stop. Really good. If, if you can manage to pure capsaicin, that's really good. <laughs> pure capsaicin. <laughs> Fox, I know you're joking, but with the way Twitch is going, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did add a ball shaving category. Like, I just <laughs> trash website. This is a dumpster fire of a website. Okay. How do you get the wax strip between a wax strip between your cheeks though? Two mirrors, you know. You gotta. Wait, wait, you can't bend around to do that. You could. I mean, I like to be able to see what I'm doing, but yeah, you could. I mean, I, I, I can see the fucking. Yeah. Feel around. <laughs> be careful showing them feet in the background. You might get pushed into the feet streaming category. Too many mirrors. No, you know, I want to live in a house of mirrors. I would never leave. I would just be stuck staring at myself all day. I'm not even joking. I flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plenty of flexing too. Yeah, plenty of flexing. Is this a glitter? What's this row on the top? Uh, the... Are they shimmers? Is this supposed to be metallics or... Ooh, metallics. I'm gonna try putting a bit of these over the top of the stuff I've already got. I'm not sure if that's doing anything. I don't know. They say never use Nair on your genitals or butthole. Yeah, because they're cowards. Right? <laughs> don't don't live your life by the packaging's rules. Don't live your life by society's rules. It's liberal propaganda. It's liberal propaganda, yeah. Don't don't listen to them. Nair your butthole. <laughs> the rogue room appreciates your recommendation. Andrew, thank you for the <laughs> The Rogue Room appreciates your support. The Rogue Room appreciates you appellating your scrotum. <laughs> I feel so much pain. You've 
killed him. <laughs> oh fuck! Appreciate you shaving with a cheese grater. <laughs> what has this become? I'm dying. I'm literally dying. What have you done by letting <laughs> us in here? The rogue room is now talking about how you can cause yourself severe bodily trauma. <laughs> <laughs> We're like three steps away from a how to cut stream. <laughs> it's odd. It's okay. It's artistic. Some people pay good money for that. True. Well, so true. Cool now. Hmm? Cool now. Yes. Artistic. Mm -hmm. I'm autistic. Oh. So we're using a blender brush. I didn't say this. We're using a blender brush. Brush at the moment. Tatina's pizzas say not to cook them in the microwave, but you totally can. Well, there you go. You can technically cook anything in the microwave. Make sure you coat it in alfoil though beforehand. <laughs> Sure it's got a fork sticking up. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get banned for giving bad life tips. Yes, don't put metal in the microwave, you dumb fucks. If you actually, if you actually weren't paying attention here, we're being incredibly sardonic right now. Don't take any of the advice you're hearing here seriously, except for the makeup shit. Cook, kick, cook quickies in the microwave. <laughs> Quiches, rather. I love a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how am I supposed to do makeup when I'm fucking laughing every second? <laughs> there we go. My eyeshadow's blended a bit, so you, we got the red thing going on. We're just doing—we're not doing over much with the uh, eyeshadow, honestly. Um, I've got a bunch of other brushes here, but I honestly am not enough. I'm not good enough as a makeup artist to know what to fucking use them for. I've even looked up videos, and I'm like, <laughs> Hello friend, I'm about to put several utensils in the microwave. Best of luck! <laughs> I'm not going to offer any further advice on that front. Not saying putting light bulbs in the microwave is a good idea, but for like, <laughs> for 6 to 10 seconds it's pretty neat. Put a wheel of camembert in the um, microwave for 20 minutes and see what happens. <laughs> a wheel of camembert. What happens? It explodes. It explodes. Yeah, it Put a wheel of camembert in there for 20 minutes and see what um, happens. Actually, it's camembert. 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 Uh, did I mention all these utensils are made of plastic in the microwave? <laughs> you don't want overcooked light bulbs. No, you don't You don't overcook your light bulbs. Just remember, kids, you can sharpen your knife by putting them in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. This is, this is awful. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get cancelled. Oh my god! <laughs> the fucking. You can get a shiny tinfoil balls by putting it in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, um, yeah, did you. Do you remember, if you missed that, the, the fucking thing a little while back of oh you god. can charge your iPhone in the microwave? That was a thing, and people were legitimately bricking their iPhones. Because they actually thought it was real. They actually fell for it. That's honestly the most depressing thing I've heard of in the last few years. And we're facing a climate crisis. We're doing eyeshadow. We're doing eyeliner with, with shadow now. Um, shadow. <laughs> All three of us. Same fucking page. <laughs> there you go, by the way. I should do that broken. This camera, because that camera's not on. Hi, by the way. Look, there's everyone. It's all the gays. It's the lesbians. Anyway. I'm just, yeah, we're doing eyeshadow. Hi, Mom. I'm on the smartphone. Mom, am I still a disappointment? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, when do I get to be a YouTuber? I'm just imagining a fucking YouTube page with me. Like, a full wide screen TV. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox Cloud. <laughs> Mum said it's my turn on Xbox Live. Shut the fuck up. You couldn't handle Xbox Live, you little shit. I love uh, who's who's who was it that tweeted this? Um, it's like you couldn't ha you couldn't handle um, being on Xbox Live, and it's like I'm literally transgender on the internet. Like, <laughs> I think it was Kanye that tweeted that one. I played Halo Reach during its heyday on Xbox Live. Ew. I was nine. That makes sense. 
I played a bit of Halo Reach. It was like the only Halo game I actually gave time to. It's the only good one. I've heard that. I've heard it's good. Um, Quake. Oh yeah, Quake was fun. So if you got to get on Quake Live with us, it's cheap. I think, yeah. Quake Live fucking rocks. I'm sorry that we uh, cut that stream short the other week. Anyway, you're so fucking itchy. That's a vibe. Uh, there was a put your phone in the microwave to hatch eggs quicker on Pokemon Go as well. No. The three gays. Like the three musketeers, but actually good. And, yeah, not questionable. <clears throat> There was. We're talking about hoaxes. One of my favorites was this thing that was going around for a while there, where they were saying over in China or something like that, they're, they're growing kittens, I think, in little glass bottles and keeping them in there to sell to tourists. And I'm like, I'm like you keep them on your key rings. I'm like, come on now. Are we, are we serious? Who's believing this shit? Anyway, we might not use the wing stamps. I don't know. Should I use the wing stamps? Glad to see the stream is doing well. Alon, you're okay. How are you doing, mate? Feel bad for not being here for so long. If you're heading off, have a good one, by the way. So much anti-China propaganda. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to go down the road of being a tanky because I don't want to align myself with any particular political movement or whatever. Especially given I'm not particularly enlightened on whatever's going on in that scenario. Mostly I know about Aussie politics, and that's entirely against my will. Um, I, everything I've learned about Australian politics, I have not done so voluntarily. It's depressing. <clears throat> it's depressing. We live in a borderline, um, what's the fucking phrase I'm looking for? Christo-fascist state. So, you know, I'm... But that thank said, we have trans healthcare to an extent. Oh, okay, Alon, thank you, friend. Jesus Christ. Whoa. That's ten subs. <laughs> Poggy Woggies. Alon, thank you for gifting subs to Tombadils, Gromit, Iron Q Bolt, Juice Tex, Be True Live Life, Trashiest Gamer, Mommy Momo, uh, Samantha Sonic, Gwendolyn, and Spiraling Days. Fucking yes, Poggies. Thank you so much. Poggies, Poggy Woggies. I fucking hate Scott Morrison. Who? I, I genuinely have to ask the question. I have to put this out there. Who the fuck in their right mind actually likes Scott Morrison? I get that, you know, we don't like politicians in general, but I feel like most politicians are in some way, like, relatable, right? Or, like, not relatable, but, like, they have a devoted following of people who actually like them. And I'm like, who likes Scott Morrison? I mean, I would say his wife, but I'm pretty sure she's in Julius, so I don't think she likes anything. True, yeah. I feel like Scott Morrison's wife is a bit of a Ben Shapiro's wife situation, honestly. D.A.P. What, drier than the Simpson does it? <laughs> It's better by comparison he replaced Tony Abbott. He didn't though, it was Malcolm Turnbull. No, it was Malcolm Turnbull, yeah. Yeah, we've got the lesbi abs. Yeah. Lebby abs. Yeah. I brought the whole coven out. You brought the holes. I brought the holes out on stream. <laughs> we'll try to keep it as, as TOS appropriate as we can. We, we, we you're allowed to do kissy kissy, but I don't think you're allowed to go too ham fisted with it, like <laughs> You're also not allowed to fist each other, so, you know. Hand fisting? I should have mentioned I'm doing mascara now. I didn't say that. This is a mascara that my, my friend got me. It's DB Center Stage. I should look at your mascara. Um, don't know if you're aware, but that's very gay. It is, it's very fucking gay. Um, it's Malcolm Turnbull and Scott Morrison blend into one very generic, dull, white politician. I mean, yes. That's all of them. We had Julia Gillard. We had one non-white male politician. Um, Prime Minister, sorry. Very briefly. Until the party, like, basically executed her career with a bullet to the back of the head. Oh, except, you know, they couldn't get an actual gun in Australia, so it was... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Cheese Sanger, mate. Kevin Rudd. Kevin Rudd was alright. Kevin Rudd... Kevin Rudd is alright, but he likes friendly joys. So yeah, True. Um, what, it's been fun watching Turnbull talk, turn on them all, though. I mean, yeah, I will agree. I do find that pretty fucking hilarious. Um, I need my contour, but here's what we're looking so far. 
Do you mind grabbing my contour brush? It's like at the back, the, br the one that's got brown bristles. Which, it, they were originally white, fun fact. Put your goddamn brushes on. Shut up! I will do what I want. Also, not a white dude of European extraction. What? I'm <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> I should clean my brushes, because, yeah, this is how my 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 um, contour brushes looked for months. This is OXX Bloom uh, Marble Bronzer, by the way. I do like this one. Um, despite being cheap trash, it's quite nice. I do want to try, like, more expensive contour, but this has been pretty decent to me. I'm doing, like, the sides of my nose, of course. Hmm? Pretty dice, mate. What's the plan for nails? I haven't done my nails in months because I'm lazy. Oh, we, should. We, do nails we should do nails. Yeah, let's do our nails together. Nail art stream. I can't paint my nails. I fucking suck at them. I mean, when I started my transition over a year ago, nails was one of the first things I started experimenting with. Because, here's the thing, when I was still, like, very just in the closet, like, I was on my way to coming out, but I thought, if someone sees me with painted nails, they're probably not going to think much of it, right? You know, I live in a pretty reasonably, not progressive area, but generally accepting area, or, like, people don't give a shit, you mind your business, they mind theirs. Right, um, and yeah, I started painting my nails. Uh, I just did black, of course. I just did black. It was, so good. It was good. And then you know, I'm doing like under my jawline here as well. I'll get some more on this. This is, I mean, this is one of the reasons I need to clean my brushes because like I can't really tell if that's doing all that much. There we go. Contoured. Um, have we still got the music going? Can you still hear the music? Oh, it's turned down on this end, but yeah. Plan for nails, ask Skomo. You want to get nailed together? Lol. Hey, look. Pillow. Pillow holding a pillow. It's my pillow pet holding a pillow. There we go. And then, pillow oh, princess, thank you. Pillow princess. And what does that mean again? <laughs> Forgive me because I'm such a fucking virgin. What does Pillow Princess mean again? It's like, um... That's my dentist. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you're off, you're out of shot. I know. Well, okay. I, know. That okay. The idea. That the I didn't pick up on that. Is there a stone about? Yeah. Hey. There's at least one stoner about. What? Hey. This is my dentist. Say hi. Uh, so, your your significant other is painted nails too, and they identify as male-ish, but the amount of men being way too bothered by it is staggering. Well, yeah, that's that's a thing, right? It's like, they'll be like, why are your nails painted? He says, I like how it looks. And they're like, and... Yeah, it's like, it's, it's kind of stupid. Like, okay, yeah, nail polish is generally associated with femininity, I guess. But it's like, if someone wants to wear nail polish, or makeup, or long hair, or any of these things, jewelry, who gives a fuck? Like, that's generally my attitude to a lot of things. Like, who gives a fuck? If it's not affecting you, why do you care? Anyway, we're using... We're doing Lime Crime, by the way. This is my matte black lipstick by Lime Crime. And I... I love this. This is so fucking good. It's the best. Which one? Mm-hmm. totally that photo I should... I'm gonna retweet a photo of him. <laughs> I got a little mustache going on. It's like a what is it? Shego from Kim Possible. <laughs> what was her name? Is that the one? Kim Possible trans me. Not holding it like a makeup influencer, yeah, because I was born a guy. Like, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> so was James Charles. James Charles is a questionable human being. But what's, what, what is questionable is the fact that he was born a guy. <laughs> we know that because there have been 19 year olds and children who have seen it. Yes. We're just out here misgendering James Charles for the hell of it now. Is 
Is James the child still kicking around? Probably. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've made a mess in my bottom lip, I think. I'm making a mess in your bottom lip. I'm so sorry. I'm making a mess in your bottom lip, Yeah, I think I've fucked it. Look, it's I bled over. Um, watch Northern Ireland if you want to see a country's politics tear itself apart. It's about to intentionally collapse again. Lol. As you love the lipstick, thank you. As uh, an individual from a virus heritage, yeah. Hmm, yeah. is that bad? Just yeah. I do have like cotton tips, and I could probably fix this up a little bit. <laughs> to be to be fair, most of Northern Ireland's politics are all from the same family, and that. That family's uh, family tree is a circle. Yeah, this is Irish person over here. Hello. There's an island in here. Oh, please don't tell me my cat's gonna fuck his pet llama under my desk. He hasn't brought it in. He hasn't got it. Okay. Okay, so I think I need to tidy. I I don't know. Do I tidy up my lip? It's a bit messy. I think I need to go more to the edges. The DUP just broke international law to bring down the government of Northern Ireland. Oh, really? My cat is going on the bin where he belongs. He's gonna try and get your PC, and he, before he did get your PC, I heard the button click. He is in box. Off. Oh, he's in box. Cat has been put in box. Okay, there we go. That looks a bit better. Darling, jump up on the PC, and I heard the on button click before. Yeah, that's why I turned off the setting in my computer setting, so it can't turn off. But it can turn on. Yeah, it can turn it on. So yeah, fun fact folks, if you have a cat that likes to climb on your computer, you can actually turn off the power button when the computer is turned on, so they can't turn it off on you. Because um, he did that several times. What do we think of this? I feel like this needs more. This isn't done yet. Yeah. I was gonna, I might do the wings anyway. Um, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I nearly damaged the wing stamp again. This is the wing stamp, for anyone who's curious. It's a little... Little stamp that puts a winged eyeliner thingy on your, on your eye. So I'm gonna try to do this oh, very no, gently. One of those. No. You should try it. That didn't work. That actually did not work. There we go. So as you can see, hello Kiara. Uh, jokes on my cat. My <laughs> my power button's on the front. I mean, true. Oh, you got a front loader. Cool. Anyway. So these are available from a company that does them called the Quick Flick. Um, I, the, the first set that I got, you gotta be careful, like look, you gotta be really gentle opening the lids on these things, because if you don't, um, the lid can like come across the edge of the stamp and just break it, they are very brittle. And that happened to my first set, they just, the, the stamps just fucking broke. Um, like my heart. Aww, yeah, well yeah, that broke my heart when my fucking wing stamps broke. <laughs> Anyways, there we go, wings. Look, I could be done with it if I want to, but I'm not. I want to thicken this out a bit. Awa. Awa. So we're going to go... Oh, yeah. So it's got the stamp on one end, and it's got a regular pointed liner on the other end. Sorry my camera won't focus, by the way. Look, camera. Do you mind? No? You're not going to do it? No. It won't. Whatever. I don't think the camera can actually detect things that close. I need a better camera, honestly. Um, I need to be rich. And as you can see, at the very top of my screen, we are still raising funds for me to move the fuck out of this state. That looks okay. <laughs> They're over here being gay. I don't know if gay is TOS appropriate. These bitches gay, good for them, exactly. Good for them, good for them. <laughs> good for them, good for they, them. Hey, hey. Do you want huh. a part of a red rooster condom? Um, what? A red rooster condom. It was stuck in my leg. <laughs> Keep it <laughs> The, when the fuck did we have Red Rooster? When the fuck did we fuck to Red Rooster? What? Oh, yeah, true. True. Thank you for giving me confidence in yourself to be the person you are. I do remember you, Alon. Quite a bit, actually. I hope you are doing well. Why, why, why is one of the characters in Red 
Pokemon Arceus just in Mummy? The, the, it's, it's a Pokemon game. One of the characters has to be Mummy or Daddy. It's the it's the rules of Pokemans. I don't know. I don't play Pokemans. Fake gamer. I am a fake gamer. Be happy and gay. Four years from now, Twitch has banned by lighting and the word colonizer. Oh fuck! Imagine if they do though. <laughs> just 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 to spite modern warrior. I mean, literally though, they fucking they banned like the word incel and virgin and simp specifically when used to refer to people in chat or whatever, you know. And it's like. Uh, they're that they're that close to just straight up doing that though. Wait, wait, wait for it to zoom in. Um, Anyways, there's wings. Device. What do we think? Cute? Not cute? <laughs> Gay enough? <laughs> what do you think? Good morning, Simova. What about if he took a fl a flight on Virgin Blue? Like this is where it, it gets a bit you know more. Uh, reasonable, you know, a little bit more reasonable, reasonable, is you can say, I like, I just said the words. I just said simp and cell virgin, right? So what you can say them in reference to using the words, but you can't use them to attack people with. Yeah, you can't, you can't just, like, Basically, you can't use those words or other terms. This is what's interesting. You can't use those words or any other sorts of terms that bring into question someone's sexual activity or sexuality or anything like that, right? So, at first, the original example that Twitch used was Simp, Incel, and Virgin, right? So don't call people those things. And everyone understandably got a bit pissed off at Twitch using those examples because who do you think would be most likely to get called those things on Twitch? Realistically. Men. Men. All women. Well, how often is a woman going to be called a Simp, an Incel, or a Virgin? And if, if, we, if we girls call each other Simps, we're probably doing it endearingly. I'm teasing my cat. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I think I want to. I kind of want to thicken the eyeliner, the the wing out a little bit. What a conversation to come in on. It's it's a weird one. How are you doing, by the way? I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to add another like line on top of this to thicken the wing out because I want it to be chunky. Thickum. Thickum. Thickum nugget. What was it, a chihuahua? Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying that we should do this. Not involving you, chat. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kick you out of this one later on. Um, but we should totally look at, like, um, what are they called? Like, adoption centers for pets. And just look at what they've got listed, because I like looking at the cute animals. <laughs> yeah, that's how we found them. Kitten. Them. Yeah. This one's already pretty thick on its own, actually, so I might, like, even this one out. Watch me fuck up my wings, attempting to make them nicer and bigger and chunky. That's how Bridget and I found Mocha. By doing your wings? Yeah, sure. <laughs> the adoption sites. And that's also how I discovered Thickum Nugget. Lol. Mm -hmm. And Thickum Nugget is a good boy. There we go. He's just an obese chihuahua. Obese chihuahua. That's, that, that's kind of, I hate how adorable and horrible that is. Obese pets shouldn't happen, but then you look at big chunkies and you're like, Oh, ew. Well, I mean, yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't find obese animals adorable. Anyways, that's it. Um, adorable. Yeah, there we go. I don't think it was like, it's obese in like an abused way, but just like genetic way. Alright, Abby spraying her face with stuff that's TOS appropriate. This is... Totally not white. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's Maybelline again. Cunt. Someone get me to buy like better products and not buy an abusive brand. Mm, what did you open up my spray bottle and fill it with cum or something? Like? Oh, you can't say that word. <laughs> okay, are we allowed to say cum on Twitch? Can we do a slash poll? Are we allowed to say cum on Twitch? Wait, you wouldn't be able to do that poll because the word cum would inevitably be banned. Coom. Coom. You allowed to say coom? Can we get some coomers in chat? They're already in here. <laughs> we out here being lesbians and shit. And shit. And shit. We're out here being shit lesbians. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been one of those for years. Because there's a significant portion of the online population that thinks we're not lesbians. 
What a bunch of Very fucking losers. Great. Imagine caring. Oh, here, take the cat and tell him to fuck off. Or you could just take over my seat if you want. Hello, oh, and welcome to the joy of smudge. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we are, uh, today we are appreciating this happy little accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. I'm the happy little accident. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a sad one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are getting deep in here tonight. Jesus Christ. Here's the thing is the gays can do whatever they want and clearly they are doing whatever they want. Naughty horny baby boy, yeah. Fucking stupid cat with his stupid llama. Stupid animal, being a dickhead. Twitch anyway. staff is watching this right now. Like, if there are Twitch staff in chat, I, I oh, urge yeah. you to sound off. They're just chicken, right? they're chicking, chicking the boxing all the boxes right now. Yeah, they're going through and they're being like, this person is not partner appropriate, mostly because they've only got 46 viewers, but also because they keep talking about cum. Anyway, let's take this off. Let's do hair. We haven't done hair. This is, this is, this is silencing the masses. <laughs> This is, like, if they don't give me Twitch partner in 2022, right, that is evidence that this is a transphobic platform. I am going to say it right now. Twitch is a transphobe. Anyway. Um, if, you, if you stand on JK Rowling, does that make her a transphobic platform? Let's <laughs> <laughs> find out. <laughs> no, 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 we'll get it. We'll get doxxed by her and her 14 million followers if we do that. Oh, but don't worry, it's not actually doxxing, apparently. According to some people. Anyways. I gotta fix my hair up and it's messy and it's shit. Tried everything, you couldn't make the poll. Okay, so hang on. Um, oh, oh no, my fucking bro. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to chuck this out and get a new one. Son of a bitch. That's you like need, the. You need, you need a new one anyway. Yeah, I hate makeup sponges because, like, inevitably they, they get moldy and shit. You gotta actually, like, yeah, I don't know, so take care of them. Friend. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. only doxing if it happens to cis people. Go. Go. Anyway. Fuck off, cat. Jesus Christ. Um, anyway. I was gonna do something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the poll. <laughs> Here he is. He is. Damn it! He Oh my god, why is Twitch so fucking petty about, like, swear words in polls? This is an R, like, yeah, R18 stream. <laughs> this is an adults-only stream. This is not a place for children. Like, I want someone in chat, like, give, give us a... Here's the thing, you know, uh, let's let's do the poll this way. If you think we could, we should be allowed to say coom or cum in chat, type cum in chat now. Cummy wummies. Cummy wummies, if you want to. Come in chat now. Come in chat now. Come in chat. Okay. All right, give us five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes, damn. Speedrun world record. I mean, that, that's slow for me. That's slow. <laughs> Cummy mummies. Com. Oh no, I'm gonna coom. <laughs> what the? F what is he doing? Anyway, I'm gonna play Dark Souls. We're gonna try to whip Half Light Spear of the Church into submission. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's half light, by the way. <laughs> Might have to switch to another website. Come on, guys. No, I'd rather not. Not for free. Um, That's my job. It's not free. <laughs> we allowed to say it, that? It just gets everywhere. And mm, it's messy. It's constant problem. It gets everywhere. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if you folks can hear what they're saying over there. But you should be able to, honestly. They need their own microphones. I'm so sorry. We need to turn this into a podcast. <laughs> this is basically just my favorite murder podcast. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, how's my hair? My hair does. My hair's flat. It's flat AF, but at least it doesn't look trash. What kind of mic do I have? I got a blue snowball. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get you a better mic once we're Yeah, you think so? Blue snowballs kind of suck. They do. There are better mics out there than the Blue Snowball, but you know, it's what I got, so deal. <sighs> anyway, voted most comfortable podcast, as well it fucking should be. Hell yes. But yeah, we, we brought the whole polycule out for the stream tonight. 
if that's what this is, I don't know what this is. You, you, two, you two are equal to a third of my poly kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thruple up in this bitch. A thruple. I fucking hate that so much. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but the word thruple sounds particularly white for some reason. I can, I can, I can that's, not a, that's not a compliment to the word thruple, by the way. <laughs> What are they playing? What are you playing? Isn't it like couple? Thrup. Thrup. T h r u p. But cup is c o u p. Yeah. No, it's coup. Yeah. But, but it's cup and couple. Yes. Yeah, so why isn't it thrup and thruple? We're a trinity. Yeah. I mean that works. I like trinity. I would be trinity. Anyway, should we do dark souls? Who wants to play dark souls? We did make up. We did make up. Now we can do dark souls if you want to. Can I set my title to Goth Skank Whips the Ring City? No, I can't! Oh my god. I can't believe that. Whip my ring city. <laughs> Playing the Dark Ring. Playing the Dark Ring. Can we play Dark Ring? They will get. Uh, this is a fun uh, fact. Never, after... never before seen playing the Dark Ring. <laughs> dark Ring after screen. For God's sake. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Dark Souls was originally going to be called Dark Ring. We're not even joking. Until I think it was the uh, translation team for the English version of the game said, Hey, calling it Dark Ring d has a bit of a weird connotation in English. Maybe don't. Um, Twitch is actually a turf and a swerf. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> Dad, I can agree with that. Things. Pardon? I am both of those things. What, you're a turf and a swerf? Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. Someone might take it out of context. Twitch is transphobic, though. I mean, yeah, no, no word of a lie. They added those tags, and then they took forever to deal with the hate raids that were directly facilitated as a result of those, um, the tag systems. Anyway, here we go. Have I still got the music playing? No, I think I turned it off. Good. All right. Um, we're not doing the Bad Dragon anymore, because Bad Dragon is bad company. The gays are allowed to continue to be part of the... Um... Come on. There we go. Continue. Might be biased, but you're going to say yes to Dark Souls. I mean, that's good. That's what you should be doing. We should do a Cell Sword Windblade run. Spin to win. Can someone tell my cat to stop attacking me? Fucking hell. Dude, give it a rest. All right, so we're doing Ring City. We're up to Half-Light Spear of the Church, which is a shit fight. I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate my girlfriends, though. I hate Half-Light. Smudge, stop. Thank you. I think you've convinced him. I think you've done it. Now we gotta listen to Judicator Argo have his fucking wank while we stand there waiting. And I think I might use a Pale Tongue at the end of this run to respec into Great Swords. So I can use the Ring Tonight Ultra Great Swords. Which do I think is the easiest Dark Souls? Um, is is that it? Elden Ring. <laughs> is he still coming? Dude, get lost. This Ring Tonight... L no, Lords of the Fallen is the hardest because it's really terribly designed. True, 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 true. Now we wait. Ended up using Lothric Knight Sword the whole way through instead of the Wind Blades. Um, too much like Boulder Sword to give up. To be fair, yeah, the Boulder Sword from the first game is the Ball of Swag Sword. One for sure. I mean, I'd say. I'd say I'd, blah, 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 blah. Of the Dark Souls games, one is probably the easiest, yeah. Easiest, quote unquote. Hey, Meryl, how you doing? We just did makeup. You missed the makeup session. We got the GFs in chat. and Well, not in chat. They're on their DSs. They're not in chat at all. Can you imagine being in the same room as me and not being in my stream? Like, that's transphobic, actually. Why did that thing need to heal? God damn it. I hate this fight so fucking much. It's dumb. And I should just learn to kill... Um... Fucking hell. What's his name? Um, Half-Light Spear of the Church by himself. But the problem is... No... 
Get down. Not watching my stream is transphobic. It actually is, though. Did you hear that, folks? So called a Zubat. If you don't celebrate that right now, that's transphobic. Oh my god, you're kidding me. So Patches just died just then. So like, I, I basically have to do this alone. There's no way I can do this fucking shit. Like, it's made the boss harder by giving them more um, stuff, essentially. And like, I don't know what the deal is with Half-Light. I don't know why Half-Light's got so much poise. Yeah, we're offline. We can't actually do online play at the moment because the um, servers are broken. Oh god damn it. I am so wide. I am so wide. Imagine being gay. Oh my god, can relate. I don't know if like Half Light's little healer bot, heal uh, pocket healer. Um the rogue groom appreciates thank you, your recommendation. By the way, for the host. T800. <laughs> <laughs> See now we got to deal with the healer again. So like this is the unfortunate reality of this fight is this guy just keeps getting a healer every other fucking minute. So it's a DPS race, and I've made it harder because I summoned patches, and now patches is gone. No, this sounds like a From Software really badly designed this fucking fight problem. This ain't my fault. I didn't. I didn't come up with this shit. Deflecting. Yeah, deflecting. To, I'm actually trashing Hayato Takamiyazaki right now. This is your fault, dude. You call. You did this shit. Oh my god. And you can't even. Yeah. See, like, it's ridiculous. Are there only two of them? I thought it was just a constant respawn. But now Half-Light's got a, a ton of health again. Oh my god, I hate this fucking bitch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate both of you. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a loving way, though. So yeah, she just like, yep, healed him back to full again. Oh my god, can't relate. No, who am I kidding? My mum's about to sell my car and give me money for it. Of course I'm loved. I'm privileged. <laughs> Look at that! I I couldn't do anything there. I was just stun locked. Hey, Creep, how's it going? I mean, let's see what happens if I do this, right? Like. Okay, that's healer 2, alright? The servers are still down, we have no uh, clarification of when they'll be up again. If they'll be up. They might not put them back up, who knows? It might be beneficial for them to stay down, I don't know. Oh, fucking Christ, dude. I've got two Estus left, this guy's full healed again, right? Oh, god damn it. Oh yeah, and he's supposed to be wearing the loincloth, because the loincloth comes with like these little boots, or whatever, like leg straps, but for some reason they didn't give him um, the loincloth in his file, so he's not actually uh, wearing anything. Yeah, he's supposed to have a helmet or whatever. I can't use that either. No, he's wearing robes. You did by letting Patches be a human shield again. Well, that's the thing. Half-Light just destroys him. Like, I try to take on the Painted Guardians, and Half-Light fucking crushes um, Patches while I'm out of the shot. I haven't done any Convergence or Cinders yet, no. Um, so much better watching me play these games. Yeah, I mean, I've done these games back to front several times, so, you know. You would think I'd be better at them. 
But I'm not. I'm actually a shit cunt. Can't wait for Elden Ring, though. I want that game to absolutely rip my butthole open. I can't wait. I can yeah, I mean... Hi. Both of these bitches are fucking stacked up in the dick department, so... If I, if I can't get my hands on Elden Ring one time... <laughs> Like being <laughs> I'm teasing. They both have micro penises. Anyway. Yeah. And they should. Uh, oh fuck! This ring knights. Oh no, he's not. Okay. Um, you're able to kill them in three to four hits. Bit of a different thing than using the whip. Yeah, I mean, depending on depending on what weapon you're using. Um, the whip is not good. The whip's honestly trash. Like, um, you could do so much better. Don't do this run. But, that being said, I beat Midir using this. So... I don't know. Because I hate myself. Why do you think I play FromSoft games? I'm a sadomasochist. s and baby. So <laughs> Well, yeah, like, Bloodborne has the good whip because it was actually designed well. And I think... I think, um... <laughs> don't dox yourself. <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Um... Yeah, Bloodborne has got like, what, 16 weapons base game and like 25 with DLC or something like that? Doesn't have a lot of weapons, right? So, um... It, it takes a long time to master them all and they had time to actually make them all satisfying to play, right? So... Oh yeah, the Hunter's Axe sucks. But, that being said, you know. It is still the case that, um... You know, FromSoft sort of... Oh, for fuck's sake, he's gonna destroy fucking patches in two seconds. Jesus Christ. Patches, heal yourself, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god. How is this guy blocking my attacks from behind, by the way? Okay, I need to keep Patches alive by distracting Half-Life, because Half-Life's going to ruin him otherwise. Is he what? Is he fucking the fucking plastic bag now? Yes. Don't let the femboy win. He's gone into, like, a bag of old clothes I'm getting rid of. Okay, I now have to focus on the Painted Guardian, so... Half-Light. I mean, not Half-Light. Well, yeah, Half-Light. Fucking please don't kill my boy, Patchies. patchy watchy uwu. Oh, Fuck's sake, dude. No, come back. Yeah, you can't, like... This is the problem. The Painted Guardian just keeps healing. And they've got super fucking poise, and when they do their heal move, they use that, they use a, um, fucking, what's it called, a talisman that has that, oh, you can't get out of that, that stun lock either. The rogue room appreciates your recommendation. Now half lights on me, fucking great. Um, thank you, Epo, by the way, for the host. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a move you can use, there's a weapon art you can use with the, um, with one of the talismans that gives you incredible poise so you can get your miracles off without being interrupted. And that's what these fuckers use, right? So when they're healing, you can't interrupt them. And for some reason it also makes them have iframes when they're standing up. I don't know why it does that. And their heals are... Um... Oh, fuck off. I mean, yeah. Come on, smack that fucking bitch. There we go, so that's the second Painting Guardian. We should be okay now. I'm gonna put Tears of Denial on just in case and try to keep Patches alive for the remainder of this fight. Fucking hell. So now he has no heals. Patches held out, thank fuck. Oh yeah, that's that move. Patches, please don't fucking die, man. Come on. 
Yeah, this- I don't remember this fight being so fucking bullshit, but maybe it's because every other time that I've done this fight, I've been using a weapon that's actually viable. But now, as far as I know, there shouldn't be another Painting Guardian, so... Oh, I just noticed he did the- Oh, you're f Oh, okay. Tears of Denial just saved my ass. Holy shit. Damn it! Patch is dead. I don't have that much HP. Oh, that got him. Okay. Okay. I'm slowly working my way through him. Ah, oh, damn it, they got me. No, you can't actually get the big hat in this one. In the first game, yeah. Oh, come on, don't you fucking dare kill me now. This is the run. Don't do that to me, you'll make me fail. Okay, I'm lucky there. Oh. Come on. Come on. Pat- uh, not patches. There we go. Got him. Point down. Oh, we got the slab. Smudge. I went to call smudge patches. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it was a run. True. God, I feel so bad. That's <laughs> true, though. Smudge is a good boy. No, he's not. He's a dumb cat. Point down. Point down's in chat. Okay, I can't remember if there are any actual NPCs or enemies after this. I, oh no, there's a bonfire. Okay, we're safe. Um, there we go, we did it. Nice Gale? Gale, Slave Knight Gale, and then Lord uh, Soul of Cinder. Oh, we're really? basically done, yeah. Do you reckon you're going to finish it tonight? I could. Um, Looper, that's understandable. Have a good one. Go get your head some rest. I'm a legend for killing Midir with a whip. Honestly, I'm more impressed with myself for killing that fuckhead with a whip. But now we're gonna try to fight Gale with one, so you know, prepare yourselves. Gay hole, gay hole lol. <laughs> there are at least three gay holes in this room. Arguably four, you know. I was, I was gonna say who was the fourth. I was gonna say who was the third. Your smudge. <laughs> <laughs> Midir considered the hardest. I mean, after a while, I got really ad adjusted to fighting Midir. Like his move set, I don't know what it is. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Maddie's cis head. Just in case anyone's wondering. Cis what? Cis cis head? No, cis gay. Cis, cis lesbian. Don't you fucking dare call me head. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare call the me head. Look. Fence in your voice. Trans moment. Trans moment. Touching the egg and it cracks. Touch egg. Oh yeah. I want to recreate that look. Hmm. I want to recreate that look on Philinor. The the veins Thank coming out of the eye. Alon! To the rogue room. You, oh. most you can't do that. Oh. Another ten subs. Gifting hey. a sub to NB Junction, Ariel, Thybrid, Boy Meets Mini, Mars Coriad, Nathan Duil, Sarah Scorpion, Scrotal Captive, Fluff Weasel, and Inclining Prune. Enjoy those subs, folks. Thank you so kindly, Alon. Holy shit. You love this chat? Good night, Alon. Thank you so much. Oh my god. You're an entire legend, you are. Yeah. Also, I need to update my, my moving goal because it's actually higher than that now. Basic. Hey! Basic. Epo, thanks for the 100 bits. We are now very close to a hype train right as we move in to what could be argued to be like the real ending of Dark Souls 3, I suppose. But we still haven't fought Soul of Cinder yet. Soul of Sydney. Soul of Sydney? <laughs> what soul? That, that city's a fucking husk. Good night. Are you heading off too, Fox? Have a good one. This is a fucking great scene, though. Look at this. Love this. Wow. 
That's gnarly. You've never seen that? So this is... What's this place called? I can't remember. Is it just the drag heap still? It might just be the drag heap again. Filianor's Rest. It doesn't actually have a name for itself. So... You've decided Bloodborne is trans rights and Elden Ring is NB Pride. Yes, fuck yes. Okay, so... We're here... At the edge of the world. Mm -hmm. The end of the world. Like... The final convergence of all the timelines. Yeah. And then we got this bloke. Filianor... Oh. Help me, please. The Red Hood is come to eat us. To eat our dark souls. <gasps> he said the thing! He said the thing! <gasps> look, you could look at these dudes, right? Look at his neck. Like, his neck's been bitten out. And because, you know, curse of undeath and shit. Gale over here munching on femboys. Look at that. That's fucking grotesque. I love this. That's what Gale did to this bloke. And he's somehow still chugging along. Kill him. Rip in peace, pepperoni. Ah! Eleanor. Finish her. Help me. He is gender. Isn't there like an NPC fight around? Like up one of the ends? Um, yes there is. She-Ra. She How far has he crawled? Too far. Rip the crawling guy. Now this is gonna. This is probably gonna be harder than the. Egg. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we fight Shira, I don't that. um, we're gonna go fight what's he? What? Sure. Yeah. Oh, Shira, I gotta watch that too. I am. I'm a very bad gay. We got less than two minutes to get a hype train going. If you're a good gay, someone gift a sub or some bits. <clears throat> and get us a hype train going, you pussies. If you're a good gay, you would do that. Oh, you skipped Shira. It's um, it's like really pentagon. Basic. Oh yeah. There's Epo with that. Does it, does it count? Oh, it has to be someone else. Yeah, Shit. It has, to be, it has, to be has to be a different person. I didn't get a soul from Spear of the Church, by the way. I just realized. <laughs> Ashen one. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, by the way, for the one hundred. Um, yeah, we'll bump our endurance up a little bit. Another round on you. That's 45. I hate to break it to you folks, but if you actually want a hype train, it has to be a minimum of 100 bits. 100 bits. That's all you have. That's okay. Did it work? Did you do something? There we go. Enjoy your membership. Hype train. Thank you, babe. I'll destroy your ass later for that one. <laughs> I shouldn't say these things. Let's see, what do I need to do? Two more levels until I get to bigger endurance. Burp. Basic. Basic. Epo, Basic. thank you for another 100 bits. That's 300 so far. And by the way, Vagabond, thank you so kindly. Or Lydia, I should say. For the 45. I needed like 21,000 more souls to level up once. Wait, is, is, is Lydia sworn to carry our burdens? Are you sworn to carry our burdens, Lydia? Trans rights. Can we get some trans rights in chat? Yes, we can. Because I said so. An attempt was made. Did I? I did kill that, um, that second Dragon Slayer armor, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, you literally named yourself after <laughs> There you go. I'm wondering, is there somewhere I can get like, like 20k souls relatively easily? Slave Knight Abbey build? I could do a Slave Knight build, because you can get Gale's Greatsword and actually you need Basic. to kill, hey, thank you for Basic. the 100 bits, Grummet, and Sneak King. You'd need to kill Basic. Gale at least twice, I think, to get Basic. both of his weapons. Am I right? You can get his Greatsword and you can get his crossbow. Get his destructor disc? Yeah, you do get that. I think you might actually need to... Maybe it's three times. Fuck. <laughs> Twice. Okay. I'm pretty sure I actually have the miracle already. Destructor disc. 
Maybe. I think the miracle. Oh yeah, no magic barrier. Great magic barrier. I might not have it. No, I don't have it. I'm fairly sure it's a drop somewhere. Oh my god. This is really cute. Area outside Yorm's arena with the gargoyles and handmaid. Let's give that a crack. Uh, the, I the, could probably the, do. Uh, Bidus. Uh, made a in in Pokemon Arceus. They made a little band. Let's do it. Oh, I think I'm oh. oh my god! Hello, Kira. Thank you for being a sub. Thank you for being a sub. <laughs> Thank these two for being subs. Thank you so kindly. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Enjoy knowing that you are subservient to me in every single way. Only when I'm feeling nice. <laughs> Alright, this is, this is where, like, the whip can be fun, though. Because you can gather all these ladies up. And destroy them. I mean, that wasn't bad. We all, we Fuck. We all, we all Yes. I mean, I'll, I'll destroy some ladies. Oh my god, that's anti-feminist. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Fuck off, gargoyles. <laughs> I feel like this is not a good idea, actually. Horny stream tonight! Isn't it always? This is not the best uh, soul farm, I feel like. I could probably do better than this. Fuck, I can't even get out, dude. Let me go. I support women's wrongs, such as destroying those women. I got rid of one of them. Trans rights? I, s I prefer trans wrongs. Let's go commit crimes. Yeah. Let's go rob a 7 Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not rob the 7 Eleven. The guy who works there is nice. I don't want to traumatize him. He gave us muffin. Not for free, we still had to pay for it. He is also ginger. Yes. Do gingers count as a marginalized minority group? There we go. We got a couple of them. So what are they worth? They're worth two and a half thousand. Yeah, another each. round. Alice, thank you for the 169. We're not going to tick over to uh, level five in the next four seconds. Level four. It says level four. Yeah, I think it carries over from a previous hype train. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It's very confusing. We achieved level three hype train emotes though. Choo choo, coo coo ka choo, friends, folks, friends, mates, friends. Gingers don't even count as living souls, they are cursed undead. Fucking hell! <laughs> yes, they do, but also no, because they're gingers. I feel like we're telling a line here. Just a teeny bit. This is so mean. <laughs> so mean. I, look, I have a is ginger it, friend. Is it too late to mention that I am half ginger? Half ginger? <laughs> yeah. There are dark souls and there are ginger souls. I mean, he could be. How am I missing this one? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. I have a ginger friend. Well, I mean, I think I do. I'm not gingerous, I have a ginger friend. <laughs> Vampires are cool, though, so it stands to reason that gingers are also cool. I mean, fair, good point. As a ginger, I was gonna say no to you assholes piped up. This is not an anti-ginger stream. <laughs> We're working. Oh my god! I'm actually wondering if I can get banned for this now. I plan on racking up bands like uh, Bad Bunny. What's she on? Like eleven now? 
How is she still allowed to stream on the platform given how many times she's gotten banned for some bullshit? Ginger lives. <laughs> True, true. I could just continue playing Dark Souls on my Greatsword build. I, I could just play on a build that actually fucking works. I've been working my way towards uh, Moonlight Greatsword on my PlayStation. Um, because MLGS is based. Uh, MLGS Pro. MLGs, bruh! Every build, every, every build works if you're brave enough. I just like the great sword, honestly. It's big. It's big. big sword, big stomp sword. It's big, it's chunky. It's your girlfriend's Also, I want to do M uh, Moonlight Great. Well, it's called the Holy Moonlight Sword in Bloodborne. Um, but you'd have to build towards that and you get to play with it in the DLC. Which, you you need to kill Thingo first? God. No, uh, Ludwig. Ludwig. You need to Ludwig. You, you, you still haven't killed Barnes? No, I gotta kill Lawrence and I've gotta kill Orphan. Orphan of Cars. We're not streaming that, by the way. We're not streaming Orphan of Cars. I'm not putting you all through that nightmare. I'll put her through that nightmare, but you know. Nightmare. Yeah, Orphan of Cars fucking sucks. I uh, can't wait to see what they did with the Moonlight Blade and Elden Ring. Yeah, that'll be fun. I mean, what? It, I feel like the one thing they could do to potentially ruin it, though, is make the Moonlight Greatswords weapon art or whatever into a Ash of War, which is, seems like what they're doing with the weapon art system in this, is they're turning um, weapon arts into Ashes of War, which you can swap out on each individual weapon. And I feel like there needs to be at least a few weapons where you can't get their particularly unique weapon art thing. So basically, they just sell phones from us. Pretty much. Um, doesn't the Dark Souls have an orange fiery ring around it? It counts as ginger. <laughs> Every soul has its dark, except ginger souls. John Dark Soul, protagonist of the hit video game series Dark Souls. <laughs> I am John Dark Soul. Okay, we are now at pretty much the cap I need for... Oh, no, I'm not. For Oh, I need more souls than that. Fuck. Okay. I thought I was I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah, it would be cool if super unique weapons um, had their own weapon arts. It'd be neat. It'd just be kinda neat. Oh my god, it's just like Dark Souls, I unlock a shortcut. Oh my god. Every game should come with a Simlish option by default. They should. Simlish. Simlish. Yes, that one. This is why I'm dumb. <laughs> You're dumb because you don't know Simlish? Yeah. There are many other reasons. It's not that. Um, have I played Mortal Shell? No, but... <laughs> I'm going to come over there. <laughs> You're not going to do anything, Bottom. You're going to stay where you belong. Um, or like the Lego Star Wars games, the grunting dialogue. Seriously, the Lego games went way downhill the moment they added actual dialogue to them. Yeah. At some point, they added dialogue to um, Lego games, and I don't know why they did that, and it's actually offensive. Like, to me personally. I can't believe they didn't consider my feelings when they made that decision. It is. It's actually weird, yeah. Oh, I see what I did. Well, they did that with the Avengers. They did um, Lego the Avengers, right? And they just literally took lines of dialogue from the movies and really? put it on the characters. As far as I know, yes. Um, it, I hate those kinds of games. I hate when they do that shit. The grunts made the Lego games just that little bit more trans. <laughs> this is like, I, I literally posted about this earlier on Twitter. Trans people will just take anything that's mundane as fuck and say, this is trans culture. This is a trans trait. You fuckers will say drinking water is trans. Very well. 
Then tuck it. Hmm? I should drink water. I drink water, therefore I am a transgender. Every trans person drinks water. I mean, that's that's enough science for me. There we go. We have we have the evidence there. Hydration is something all trans people do, ideally. Though some of them decide to do it solely with monster sugar free. But you know, is it trans to exist? <laughs> I was referring to me, but okay. <laughs> Drinking water and eating food is trans. Also, building Gundams is trans. Mm -hmm. I, I have. Gundam. We have Gundam. Oh. We made Gundam. Look at the little oh, robot. The other one, yeah, look, look, Gundam. So now, and yes, it's praising the sun. This was fun. I like doing this. Gilf. Praise it. Can we get some praise in chat? For those, for the uninitiated, that is the RX-78-2 Gundam from the hit show, Mobile Suit Gundam, released in 1981. Well, 1978, sorry. Praise the sun. It is about the gay. It is about the gay, apparently. It seems like any... Actually, it, was, it was a way of uh, de-radicalizing the... Uh, Borderline fascist youth of the, 90, of the late 70s. Oh, really? There you go. That's something I did not know. Fun fact. Yes. Char Asnabal is basically... Yeah, Char Asnabal is daddy. That is my point. There we go. But he's also a Nazi, so... We don't like Nazis. So it really is my daddy. Can we get, can we get some down with Nazis in chat? <laughs> Nazis bad in chat. Alright, we're going to do... So I'm embered, I've now got uh, 1671 HP, which is probably not going to save me fighting Gale, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, it's what? Yeah, but you're both sitting here anyway, so there's no point in me taking a break. <laughs> it is always morally correct to punch a Nazi on site. Yeah, if you see a Nazi, literally just sock him in the face. A surprise is coming. No, it's not. I know yeah, exactly I what's coming. I have a criminal assault charge. <laughs> Yes, I do. No, um, oh, I've searched for the dark, stricken future. I am Shira, daughter of the Duke, descendant of gods, and trusted friend to Medea. Trusted friend to Medea, bitch! You sent me to kill him. Gods, the glory of fire and the fear of the dark. Thou shalt not go unpunished. For thy treachery, thy profanity. Can and you thy stop fucking yearning. talking? Jesus, shut the fuck up. Not you two. Shira, she wouldn't stop. Ah, uh, I see. Oh my god, it's a raid. Guests. Laura, hello. Welcome, friends. How's it going? Welcome in. We're fighting Shira, Knight of Philianor, and she's a twit. Oh, is that the surprise you meant? Not Shira. Thank you, Creep, and thank you everybody from Laura's stream. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. I can't do the lights at the moment, and both of them are playing their switches, so we can't control the raid lights at the minute. Oh, she healed! The bitch healed! Oh my god. When did you do that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Rainbow, hello. How you doing? I bet Midi didn't let her go unpunished. Ben, <laughs> why did I type that? I guarantee you there is Shira and Midi, rule 34. You can't say that. We're gonna give you a bright future in filmography or something. I don't know. Then my girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's got Estes. Right, right, right. We're fighting Shira, Knight of Philinor, and now, why are there gorgeous people in my room right now? Cause it's it's a vibe. It's a lesbian stream. We are very lesbians. No, we don't want angry lights. I want I want pretty bisexual lights. That's me. Oh my god, I hate Shira so fucking much. Holy shit. A little more calm. Oh my god, I literally can't do fucking anything. Bitch, stop. 
Very lesbians. Come for the let's play. Stay for the les play. Oh, you won't be seeing that. You won't be seeing that. No, that's that's definitely TOS. Check our work in a couple of days. <laughs> we can't. We can't take that. Yeah, we probably can't even joke about it honestly. By OF, uh, she meant um, uh, uh, one feast. I have a page that's dedicated to <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Shira, stop fucking healing, you bitch. Uh. Probably, yeah, you actually can. It's, it fucking sucks. I mean, I had. I'm pretty sure Nine said some shit. Um, while we were there. But, like, I was streaming at their place. And, um, they said something in the background that I think might have skirted TOS a little bit. That's literally almost everything Nine says. True, true, true. I think Nine's vocabulary is like, um, TOS for life, pretty much. Got him. Point downs. Point down in chat. Never would I ever forgive thy lowly kind. Never would I ever kiss a cis het man. Anyway. Point downs in chat. We killed Shira in one go. That was fucking tedious. How to improve your filmography career. Carrier. Your filmography carrier. Wear latex. I don't know. It worked for Natalie Mars. Is, is Natalie Mars at all related to Natalie Imbruglia? I don't know why Natalie Imbruglia came to mind. I don't know who that is, but, I'm, but I hope they're not a shit person like Natalie Miles. <laughs> I thought you said Natalie Miles was a good person. No, Natalie Miles is a sex offender. Oh, who's a good person then that you were talking about? Elle Hollywood. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, that's right. I think that's against TOS too. She's a member of that church. She attacked you because you killed Half-Life. But she keeps going on about mid-ear, though. You have to raid and run at 11.30 and you're half asleep and need to record a proper thing and do a radio show, so you need to be awake. Get some rest. Laura, thanks so much for the raid. Sister Abby vs. Slave Night Gale, let's fucking go. Let's do it. Let's, let's go. I'm pretty sure there is something down here as well. No? It's just, uh, stuff. Um. As ever, if anyone turns out to be a dickhead that you brought here, let me know and I'll ban on your channel. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, here's a thing. Here's a fun thing. I'm not gonna name any names. But I have been chatting to somebody recently on a social media platform in private DMs. And they regaled to me how they know someone who I have interacted with on the Twitch on occasion. And it turns out their relationship uh, was rather sour for a number of reasons. And as a result, they don't like that person I've interacted with. And they're not blaming me for it or anything, of course. Because that'd be stupid. But, um, it's kind of worrying, I suppose. That, you know, that that's just a thing that can happen. No, that's not you. Someone more local to me. Someone's more local to me. And then it's like, oh yeah, that person you might, you've might you interacted with now and again, they're actually not a good person, actually. Well, who I was telling you about before, but don't, no details. No, don't drop any details. Because I don't, like, I mean, I want to get, get it out there that there is that kind of thing, which is kind of unavoidable in this sort of space, in multiple kind of this sort of spaces, like both in trans social media and on Twitch streamer um, circles all around, like, you're gonna find that these kinds of spaces are pretty incestuous with one another, which... I mean, it kind of works though. Like, you find everyone knows everyone, and everyone's got drama with everyone, and it's like, it becomes a bit daunting to have to pay attention to. I don't know why there's another one of these blokes. Anyway. Oh, I love the weapon art of the, um, of the, uh, twin, the paired great swords. They're fucking amazing. Hate all the Twitch drama, maybe someone is a good person, just you don't get on. I mean, yeah. This, in this particular instance, this person has um, said to me they had a personal relationship with someone I've interacted with on Twitch. And it's just like, it went really badly. Um, I don't know why they started telling me their life story about this, but there you are. All the trans girls of Twitch know each other. Well, yeah, there's that too. 
the more I uh, the more I spread my tendrils on Twitter in particular, the more I meet people that know everyone else. Oh, but yeah, the the paired knight great the paired ringed knight great swords are a fucking badass set. All twelve of us, and we just pass around the same twenty bucks. <laughs> We're all poor trans femmes, and we all we all a give each other money. Right yeah. <laughs> We are literally a quarter of trans Twitter. This trans femme doesn't know too many people. Well, there you go. And I, and I fucked the other two thirds. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters, sorry. Trans streamers are all sub for sub. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the implication. Alright. It's time for a badass cutscene. <clears throat> trans femmes all use Twitter to date people. Hey, what's the better trans femme dating app, Twitter or Discord? Tammy, both works for me. Tammy, Tammy got me a lot of places. Tammy got me a lot of places. Tammy got me. Tammy, 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 Tammy got me to meet everyone. Did I, I didn't think I saw her down there. Yeah, I also just there's a lot of bussy. Bussy, yeah. Tammy. They're talking. Yeah, they're talking about Tammy. I've never interacted with whatever that is. You know. Is it queer dating? Queer dating. Okay. Here's Gail just munching, munching on some horsey. Has so many chases on it, I wouldn't be shocked. Oh yeah, true. Creep, watch the episode of the Pride Guide. I was on there. Remember what? Facebook days? Still here. Handed over that thing, your dark soul. For my lady's painting. I hope if they do cutscenes in Elden Ring, they do them a little bit better on the audio design than than this shit. So many of the cutscenes in Dark Souls 3 and other Dark Souls games have got wanky audio for whatever reason. Like, who's seen... I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this... I'm gonna call this out right now. Who's seen Neon Genesis Evangelion? Alright? I'm gonna call this bit out, because this is exactly what I'm talking about. There's a scene early on, I think it's like... Is it, what, episode 3 or something? Or episode 2? Um, the protagonist gets beaten up by a school bully and there's a punching shot from like from like a class window like a story up or whatever and the sound effect they use for the punch is like a weird how would you describe it celery hitting a wet le wet celery hitting a leather couch or something like well that that is actually the um yeah is it <laughs> At any rate, it's not like an appropriate punching someone sound effect, and it, it also just set like the volumes off and all this other shit. Like it just doesn't sound good. And Dark Souls cutscenes have the same fucking problem. Oh yeah, uh, Elden Ring's actually got facial animations. Like Sekiro did too, to a point. Sekiro's good. Don't you trash on Sekiro? Well, I mean. Because you're trash, that's why. <laughs> to be fair, the, the, like, the first boss you fight in Sekiro, I think, is a, an absolute fucking nightmare. So, like... Was it Gyobu? Gyobu's the first technical boss fight. But Sekiro does this thing where, like, it gives mini-bosses health bars and they've got their own... Uh, oh, damn. Um... There is, the, there is the ogre, but he's not like the first boss fight, so to speak. Um, there are a number of just like generals around. Oh, yeah. NPCs that are just stronger, normal um, enemies, basically. And then they like buff themselves Yeah, and they've got um, good defenses and such. So yeah. Um, where were we? Not doing much. Yeah, I'm using a fucking whip, Meryl. Cal calm down. You expect me to do much damage to this prick? I have beaten him. I think I, I haven't beaten him with many weapons. I can't remember what my um my first 100% run of Dark Souls 3, what weapon I used. I feel like it might have been the Abyss Watcher's Greatsword, honestly. 
Because, like, that weapon fucking rocks. Let's be real, yeah. It's edgelord as absolute fuck. Like, I can hear the Papa Roach playing while I'm swinging that thing around. Oh my god, you got the trans Pokemon. I do love the Gale boss fight though, it's actually phenomenal. Ah, fuck you. I'm pretty sure you might be able to get a, um... When he staggers there, you might be able to get a riposte, but I wouldn't have enough time to switch to my dagger to do it. Still kind of kills you that Sekiro mini-bosses give you a quarter of a heart. What do you mean a quarter of a heart? Uh, prayer bead. A what? Prayer bead. Prayer bead. Oh, prayer bead. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I remember now. So anyway, you're still on Facebook since all your mates are there, but looking at the meme pages that you liked years ago are trans... Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked that, um... Facebook is transphobic. I mean, come on now. It's the boomer social media. <laughs> but it's got Zuck Daddy. Nobody likes Zuck Daddy. Especially not the animals that he kills. Exactly. Uh, let's get rid of all of these and all of these. Fuck off, oh, I saw a really fucking awesome. Hang on. Give me a sec. I need to show you this. Um. Did I save it on Reddit, I think? Did I save this post? Let me go... To, how do you check your saved posts on Reddit? Go to your profile. Go to my profile. Saved. I don't know, I don't hate women. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're kidding as in you're kidding about hating not hating women, or...? Of course I don't hate women. <laughs> I am one of them. Wait. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. Okay. I hate a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a post. Uh, was it on R? I'm going to look up R Fashion Souls for a second. And it might be in here. Let's see if I can find it. Hang on. Alright, so. Um, so Fashion Souls being the subreddit where you post your looks in, in, fa in Dark Souls fashion. This one! Oh my god, I love this so much. This is just fucking incredible, folks. I'm going to put you over here, I'll see you right away. I love this look. I absolutely fucking love this look. I don't know when you can get the build mask, though. I've got everything else. I could rebuild this. Um, let me see if I've got the pieces. I've, except for the build mask, I've got the pieces. I'm pretty sure you need to have completed um, the, the full Lord of Hollows ending before you can get her armor set, maybe. Or maybe she sells it? I don't know. Uh, at the very least, I don't have her helmet yet. But I do have... That's Iron Dragon Slayer armor. Lol, we know that. I do have the Firekeeper robe. I do have the Undead Legion gauntlet. Wherever it is. Du -du -du -du. Where are you? I think. did I, Or do you have to buy it? I think you have to buy it, actually. And I think the black leather set... Actually, a surprising amount of this you probably have to buy. It does. If you kill Yuria and give her ashes to the Handmaiden. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually have the... Oh, hang on. Uriah Fallen Knight. <laughs> of course you're going to know about that. No, of course I know about Yuria. Did I get the red dress in Blood Bloodborne? Yeah. Hot take. The red dress in Bloodborne is trash. No, I don't. I want to kill things. I want the dress to be red because I've been killing things so much. Edgy. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. I mean, to be fair, Bloodborne is the edgy Souls game. They're all edgy. What the fuck you mean? No, edgy. Bloodborne is edgy. Bloodborne's the edgy one. They're all edgy. They're all edgy babe. No, they're not. They're all edgy. Where's the, is it the thief set? No, that's the thief mask. Clandestine coat. That one's cool, actually. I like that one. Um... Execution Helm. I feel like I might be able to get the black leather set off her because I gave her Thingos. Um, Ashes, what's he called? Here's the Undead Legion Gauntlet. Okay, so you need that one. And you need the black leather... Um, 
Got the leather armor. Where's the black leather armor set from then? Or is it called something else in this? Ashen one. What what was it listed as? There. So we got black leather boots, firekeeper robe, we got that. Undead Legion Gauntlet we'd have to buy, and the build mask. That's a fucking sick set though. That's it's a fucking sick look. It's Father Gascoigne, not Father Castiglione. That's completely different. <laughs> he's not Italian. Actually, I think he's like the name is French, isn't it? Is Ga is Gascoigne Gas? Yeah, no. I don't know. Sounds like it. You know French people. Um, <laughs> French people, not people. <laughs> For legal purposes, that is a joke. <laughs> I am cancelled. I'm cancelled because one of my girlfriends says fucking uh, what French people are not people. Meatballs all over the shop. <laughs> you walk into Father Gascoigne's room. He turns to face you and he's like, Hey, what's the matter, you, eh? Look at how he my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Usually call him Music Box. That's that's the better name for him. <laughs> it's a me, Father Gasco. The rogue room appreciates your recommendation. <laughs> oh, creep! Thank you for the host, mate. Papa Gask, Papa Guac. That's a different thing, mate. What? That's something else. No, people do call him Papa Guac. What does it mean? Guacamole Daddy. Okay. God. Yeah, is that a euphemism? Or are we not allowed to explore that? Oh, okay. You do have a personality. Your personality is Gundam's. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I'm... From Gascony, kind of a boring origin for the name. A lot of names have fucking boring origins. Come on, oh my god, I've done such minimal damage. Dark Souls isn't an acceptable personality, I mean, that's my personality. Literally. What do I talk about other than Dark Souls? This is my autistic fixation. Women? Pardon? People who hate women. Well, true. So you've got it's a little bit tilted. Um, yeah, my, my personality is Turfs are trash and Dark Souls. That's it. Your surname has an exciting origin. What is it? Did your family fight dragons? Well, I mean... If Smith is accurate, then I mean... That was the surname given to like blacksmiths, which is kind of fucking cool. Yeah, but I mean, like, look, take it from someone who is absolutely impressed with your existence. Smithing is fucking cool as hell. Of course, I'm fucking gay. You can't, you can't call me gay as a derogatory because I actually am. Well, no, true. I called you gay in a bloody Would that work on would that work on Tinder? Can I just go and swipe right on a bunch of people on Tinder and be like, oh my god, you're so gay. <laughs> True. Sorry. Oh, it's raining and it sounds really nice and relaxing. Surname is an anglicized Irish word that means Smith, but it isn't Smith. It's so stupid. Oh what the hell? What is going on with the whip hitbox, dude? Honestly, I've missed so many hits that should have absolutely connected because the whip passes through the enemy and they just don't take damage. Oh, he's, he's horny. I don't know. Well, we do have, like, toys with catnip. It's entirely possible that this is his reaction to catnip. Cats are fucking weird, dude. Um, it's weird that it's not legal to yeet turfs into the sun on rocket ships. We should. We should be able to. I think the problem there is no one is willing to expend the cost to build rocket ships to yeet them into the sun yet. Well, isn't that what Musk is doing? I'm hoping so. Is, like, 
pull turfs are rich people, basically. Well, I hope he tries to send a whole bunch of turfs to Mars and their mission just fails. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Oh, not. Alright. Oh, my God. Can you see him? Yeah, smudge. He's on the fucking window. He's, he's <laughs> climbed up the fucking fly screen. Somebody get a photo of him. Oh, he's come down. <laughs> Gale has eaten too many turfs. There's no such thing as, as eating too many turfs. No, it's not an innuendo. It's a, it's a, it's a cannibal and an innuendo. <laughs> In your window. My cat's in my window. Oop, no you don't. Oh, fuck you, Gale. He keeps doing that stagger animation, and I'm thinking, like, I have an opportunity there. I don't. The thing is, like, like, despite absolutely fucking this fight up constantly, I do love this fight. Look at him crawling around there like a fucking, like, Jordan Peterson. Oh, shit, that's a Oh my god, you know the names of the Pokemans? Yes! I mean, of course you do. <laughs> you know what's fucking hilarious, though? I feel like, you know, autistic people jokingly saying, I'm autistic, which can, like, probably almost sounds a little bit derogatory. Somebody would probably say, oh my god, that's ableist, when it's literally autistic people just identifying themselves as autistic. Is the new Pokemon good? From yes. what I've heard, yeah. Yes. Well, she said yes. But... Genuinely had people get pissy at you for stating you're autistic. What did? What do they expect? Normalize being. Normalize acknowledging the fact that you're autistic, honestly. Like, what what are they expecting here? Yes. Oh, fucker. God damn it. Um, worry about saying on the specky and people calling that ableist like, yeah, it kind of is, but I'm reclaiming it because it's funny as fuck. <laughs> I needed to tell them because it, I needed a certain accessibility need met and they told you were being self-derogatory. Holy shit, that's saying way more about that person than it's saying about you. Holy fuck. Like, that, that's literally just... Oh my god, that's ableism. If someone self-identifies themselves as autistic, and someone else is like, that's... Yeah, you're putting yourself down over... That's ableist? Fuck me. I still can't get over, by the way. I, I did tweet about this today, because I was at the gym, and I was just thinking about fitness and shit. About that time that James Smith, the personal trainer, had a fucking whinge. Because somebody called him out on an Instagram post in the comments about all his privileges. Oh, I just tried to kick Gale. Yeah, that's going to work out well in my favor, isn't it? Um, someone called him out for being, you know, a rich, white, muscular, um, able-bodied, able handsome dude and all that. It's like, okay. Like, I think he was, he was posting some motivational thing, but basically the motivational thing in the first place boiled down to some pull yourself up by the bootstraps sort of shit. And this person in the comments responded, it's like, okay, but here's the reality of it, though. You've got all these privileges. And they, they posted it in a jokey way. Like, they were, they were having a laugh at him. And he chucked a fucking tantrum and put this whole, um, this whole post together, talking about all those privileges and trying to debunk them. And he got, like, and all, all of the debunks that he posted were 
flagrantly fucking stupid rebuttals, okay? They were just the worst attempt at rebutting anything. But the thing that really gets me is he gets to the able-bodied shit, and he goes, I worked for this body! I've spent over ten years building my body! And like, it's like, dude, that's not what able is, that's not what being able-bodied means. That's not how that works, dickhead. <laughs> you gonna say that to a quadriplegic? You fucking moron! Like... He was like treating it as though like, I don't know, you know the whole uh, you should stop being a lazy person, get up off the couch and stop eating Doritos. Maybe you'll have a fit body too, like that kind of shit. And I was like, mate, one guaranteed way to show you're out of touch with everything. Absolute dickhead. And I think he got thoroughly called out for it too. I think I made a video on that. Check my YouTube channel, scroll back through my videos, but you might actually find a video I made where I actually went over that whole thing. I think I did it anyway. Yeah. James Smith PT. Fucking Chode. And of course, like... <laughs> Chode's a good insult. I bet you he gets offended when someone calls him a cracker. Up, you bunch of moral degenerates. Oh, careful, we might not be allowed to say the word degenerate. Seems like some people do have umbrage with it, and okay, I'll, like, I'll respect that. James, yeah, it's the whitest name you ever heard, right? Like, I mean... <laughs> that just sounds like dog whistling. The dog is dog whistling, oh my god. Bootstrap people are just victim blaming. Basically, yes. At the end of the day, yes. You're not just a dick, you're the worst kind of dick. What him doing? Smudge is doing things. Pretty sure you knew seven James Smiths in your parents' church. That's the thing, right? Imagine making it with a name like James Smith. Yes. Oh, oh, I can't make that joke with him. Benedict Cumberbatch oh. is number one. Though. I mean, yeah, that's that for some reason Benedict Cumberbatch is such a white name and yet it's so unique at the same time. Like, I, I, I made this joke to one of the Canadian people last night. Yeah. But Brian David Brian David is a great person. I fucking love it. I love BDG. I need to know who this is. I keep hearing that name. I'll show you something to you guys. Okay. No. That might give me an idea as to who he is actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, you need to. If that's true, you need to do the thing I did today. It's the hair. You need to do the trans timeline thing. <laughs> you need to do them. BDG and Maddie. Do it. Do it, I dare you. Please do it. <laughs> I did mine today. I did the uh, celebrity look-alike transition timeline thing. The polygon twink! Yes, sir, yes. Yes, the polygon twink, yes. He wants to sleep with all the castle venues. That's me. Exactly. True. Twink where? I mean, there's, there's at least a couple of them on my bed. <laughs> oh, did I upset you? <laughs> you are twunk, past tense. I like how he still swings and chucks a tantrum from miles away even though I'm nowhere nearby. He doesn't try to march towards me, he just continues his usual AI. Nope, we're getting away from this. This is honestly such a cool fight because it's like, just this massive arena. Even though you could probably contain it to just that area up the top. I love how huge the arena is. It's massive. For no fucking reason, by the way. I, just, just, I guess it's just to sell this sense of how far the world has fallen. Ow. There's actually a cheese spot, of course there is. At the end of the day, as cool of a character as Gale is, he's still an exploitable AI and we can just make him look like a dickhead for getting him stuck somewhere.
Oh, also, we found out today... Oh, here we go. Cutscene. We found out today that um, I actually don't have Ashes of Ariandel or the Ring City installed on my PS5 despite owning them. So, when I went to Cleansing Chapel in Cathedral of the Deep, he wasn't there. Which is good because I get really fucking sick of hearing him repeat his dialogue oh. every fucking time. Is this the blood? The blood of the dark soul. The dark soul. <laughs> title get, yeah. I mean, we already had the title drop earlier. Save our dark souls. Awa. This is the third title drop today. I hate how much Hey, Lyle. Oh, fuck, I forgot he's doing his. Oh, yeah. For anyone who somehow missed this, Gale's a massive Berserk Guts reference. Like, obviously. He's doing his Destructo Disc thing again. I mean, can we please get a, um. Can we please get a Sekiro style game but it's Dragon Ball Z, please? For fuck's sake. That'd be fucking sick. Hell yes. Not like like the way Jedi Fallen Order does it. You know how it's like Jedi Fallen Order is like um, if they did an easy mode of Sekiro and it had lightsabers, right? Yeah, I mean cuz to Star Wars. Don't get me wrong, I like Sekiro. I'm I'm a FromSoft fangirl, so I nearly said fanboy then. Oh my god. I nearly misgendered myself. Can you believe it? Because the last time I fought Gale, I was mask presenting. It's been that long. I should just make playing through Dark Souls a regular ritual in my life. Machine Gun Gale Kelly. You could have. There could have been so many puns you can make with Gale. Yeah, and you went with that. <laughs> I transed my gender and came back for Gale. To be fair, last time I fought Gale, I was still playing a female character. So, yeah, I, I mean, trashy. I agree. I want FromSoft to make a Berserk game, please. For someone, for God's sake, someone give them, give FromSoft where the license. I don't want to see Platinum make a Berserk game. I mean, Platinum might do a good job of it too. Yeah, true. <laughs> Uh, a mixture of Sekiro and Budokai Tenkaichi? Yes. Um, like big open environments, big open destructible environments, and like Sekiro style, multiple different methods of attacking and defending. And like sort of almost rhythm based gameplay. Thank it seems you kind of the perfect. Map. Your membership. Ink Frog, thank you for the tier one. It's been a minute since I sub. It's been a. Why did it say minute? It's been a minute since you subbed? What the fuck, text to speech? What is wrong with you? What dumb fuck AI? Holy shit. Oh, seeing what Platinum is doing with Babylon's Fall, something is wrong over there. That's disappointing. What's what's the situation with Babylon's Fall? I haven't even heard of it. What's that one? I'm curious now because like didn't didn't they do Bayonetta and And I'm pretty sure they were like responsible for DMC originally, or was it like no, the um the guy who um, created Devil May Cry went on to make Bayonetta with Platinum. I think it was. Um, hello Monarch, how's it going? We are at 23 subs. I'm kind of, I'm very marginally disappointed though. We didn't hit 13 out of 12 subs. Yeah, oh, that was a terrible attempt. DMC5, I need to actually play uh, full, fully. Which one? Devil May Yeah. Yeah, she bought it for me, full price. And I've only played, I think so. And I've only played a bit of it. I feel like an asshole. The game looks the fucking old. Don't they do Resident Evil? Yeah. I do like Resident Evil 2 Remake. I haven't finished it, but it is quite nice to play. True, true, true. For different reasons. 
can someone see what Smudge is fucking doing? Maybe next stream game? I don't think I'm going to be doing a next stream game. This is just me revisiting Dark Souls because I can, and I ha I felt inspired by Castlevania, which itself has a ton of, a, um, of Berserk references in the way it was. He's standing? He do be standing, though. Oh fuck, hello. Hi. Thank you. I did good, didn't I? Fucking hell, I can't fight this guy. That was a bad attempt to dodge, I didn't even try. Let me just look at you. You can look at me. Hmm. You played Bayonetta for the first time and it was pretty fun. Bayonetta's good. I gotta play Bayonetta too. Actually, if there's something that'll get me to play my fucking Switch for the first time in ages, it'd be Bayonetta too. Polly goals. Yeah, I'm Polly. Polly gonna fuck your mum later. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish fighting Gale because I keep making stupid fucking jokes. <laughs> no, my mum. Oh, you should have. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little bit. Normalize fucking your friends' mums, honestly. <laughs> that is like. I, no, she did tell me I was her by awakening. Oh, there you go. Based? Based. I mean, realistically, though, like, just. Let's just say, for example, you and your friend's mum, or dad. Like. <laughs> If you if you get along, it's so weird to be like offended that a friend slept with one of your parents. I think it's just kind of grossed out because it's mostly grossed out. But like I've seen some people take like a almost like you've disrespected me kind of stance from it. It's like, but why though? It's really not. And I've been thinking about this a lot lately, like how puritanical our society treats sex, and it's like. Even still now, like there was a there was a thing recently, wasn't it? Um, somebody on on Victorian TV, Victorian News, I can't recall, having a go at sex workers for being all th this same old shit. Like, oh, they're all unclean. Oh yeah, that was that was the question of the um, sex worker rally that I was at. Oh, there you go, there you go. Um, I the name. Um, yeah, so, yeah, some politician had a fucking go at sex workers. Which was just stupid because, like, what's even weirder is it's completely decriminalized over there. So you can. Not completely, but, like, there are regulations, of course. Um, uh, like with any other job, though, like. Yeah, there's. Um, private work is still. Illegal. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, yeah. It should be legal. Yes, exactly. Yes. But, uh, it's like if the news would have, I mean, and this is the thing, right? You've got shows like A Current Affair and 60 Minutes or whatever that do actually push these fucking stories about, like, tradies and shit, or... I don't know. They, they will demonize other fields of work, but I feel like... Yeah, Murdoch flunkies, right? Decriminalize sex work everywhere. I mean, this is the thing, we use our bodies every day in every line of work, right? In every fucking line of work. What's the difference if that work happens to be sex? I mean, it's literally the oldest profession. Work. That's that's an um, what's it called? <laughs> oh, there we go. What you don't think you get a chance? Sex work again. Swerk. Ah, fuck, I caught all of those, god damn it. We're into phase two. Destructo disc, fuck you, Gale. You know, some people do their jobs literally until the job destroys their body and they can't anymore. They are literally selling their body. I mean, yeah, that's it. It's like, if, 
used to be, it's it's hard to <laughs> throw them Beyblades. Hard to say it's exactly the same now because I feel like people my age and younger are not going to have a retirement to look forward to. But, you know, time used to be you would go into a job, you would work it for 40 years, and at the end of your life, 40, 50 years, whatever, um, you would get to retire, and all of a sudden, you know, you spent your whole life working, and now you're too old and tired to fucking do anything because you've destroyed your body for that last 40 or whatever years. And that is still the expectation. Hello, Mythic, how you going? You would go to Australia, but afraid of giant spiders. But giant spiders like this one over here. Not, not my girlfriend's butt. Um, oh, you can't see it. You can't see the enclosure just down there. I have a tarantula. Anyway, giant spiders are friends. Yes, they kill things. You do, you do think it's not exactly the same as regular work because it can affect the human brain differently. How? It really can't. How? I mean, it's work. It's work. self-esteem sometimes if your if your self-esteem's really bad. Working in coals affected my self-esteem really bad. <laughs> I was cleaning toilets, floors, and pushing trolleys. That affected me pretty fucking badly. My self-worth went down the toilet. Fix this your uh -huh. Wow. One shake off. Here comes the train. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm curious how sex work would in any way affect the brain differently to any other field of work. Because, I mean, if we look at that, there are so many different fields of work that do so many different things. What... Doritos, truly a, tr truly a real game. They're not Cool Ranch, though. Not that I've ever tried Cool Ranch. I, I kind of want to, to see what the big deal is. Because, like, anytime someone makes a meme or a joke about Doritos and being a gamer, it's Cool Ranch. What the fuck's the deal with Cool Ranch? You can literally just walk away from him when he does that one. Oh, you're gonna chuck a tantrum? I'm gonna walk away. Tastes like shite. I mean, I'd, I'd throw away a couple of bucks to see how bad it tastes. What's so cool about a ranch? I mean... <laughs> the animals are getting cold. Ah, oh, fuck, I got stuck. It's complicated, but that's the vibe you get from what you've heard from people who had to resort to sex work, which is different than people who choose to do sex work For also. someone had to resort to it at the age of 15, that is not the case whatsoever. Mm. Like, lots of people have to resort to certain types of work. Some of us don't have the privilege of being able to work in conventional fields that pay well and have consistent income. There you go. A vibe is- yeah, vibe's not evidence. I'm gonna have to call that out. Like, I'm- I'm probably too disabled, mentally speaking, to work most civilian jobs. Take the one that gives you an interview. I mean, yeah, realistically speaking. Some of us don't have the benefit to get given multiple really good interviews at really good firms, at really good companies, whatever. It'll pay us like tens of thousands a week or whatever. I think there's a significant portion of people, especially those who are in, from low income environments or unfortunate circumstances who will just have to take whatever work is there. Like, is there a difference between re sexual assault and regular assault? Just because both are physical doesn't mean the same. That's a really weird take. That's honestly a genuinely strange way to take this conversation. <clears throat> yeah, they're different, but you're kind of being pedantic. Oh, you can lock on to Gale from like a million miles away, by the way. Fun fact. You can also get smacked by him from a million miles away. I hate this fight. I love this fight. But I hate this fight. <laughs> God damn it. Smud, go in the box and stay in the box and be quiet, okay? Go on. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused as to how it's relevant. 
I don't see how it's relevant. If, if either of you have an idea. About what? About how there's a difference between sexual assault and regular assault and, and like how that ties in to sex work versus what would be considered sex civilian work. Consensual. Sex work is consensual. Yeah, is that. There's that. They're but like... There's that, I suppose. It's, it's almost like a... I mean, it's an apples and oranges thing, which has always been a weird analogy to me because apples and oranges are both fruits that you eat. So, I don't know. But that... You know, you know what I mean. Like, it's kind of a false equivalence. <laughs> it's a false equivalence because we're talking about, like, workplaces, work environments versus a crime and to bring that into a discussion around sex work is kind of bizarre because it almost treats sex work as though it is a crime in this equation I don't know bad Gale I spank your bottom Gale treating you well? No, he's not. <laughs> We're at that game. Hmm. I right can. Oh, fucking distracting me while I'm trying to fight one of the hardest bosses in the game. Although I think I, I think I might have Gale. Gale's a brat, the more you whip him, the angrier he gets. <laughs> Great. Changing your name. People are arguing that apples and oranges are the same thing to counter what I said. Apple, apples and oranges are both equally shit. <laughs> Having done sex work, yeah, there are some effects on mental health, but like a lot of that is because of the stigma of sex work and sex in general. I mean, yeah, there's that. It is, it is primarily the stigma. It's the stigma, yes. It's not the work itself. Uh, um, sex work is Australian sex workers who have been known to be sex workers can no longer become teachers. Well, yeah, there's that whole thing, which is just dumb. Or the fact that um, assembling doesn't consider it a real job. Mm hmm. No. Stigma mail! <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I didn't dodge in time. I'm just not going to bother healing. I'm just going to keep going until I get him. He's just crawling around. He's just standing there menacingly. Oh yeah, you fucking losers. Okay, didn't notice that these two left kiss marks down my neck. Down this side, actually. I can't believe you! <laughs> um, a huge thing that came out of sex work and is now applied to other types of work, particularly retail and cashier work, is the concept of emotional labor. Uh, but it, why is it different? Working of any kind is action for reward. Yes, pretty much. If anything, sex work is better because you're not going to be beholden to an employer or corporation who will steal your surplus labor value. Well, true. Well, I mean, depending on the conditions of the work environment, you're still not going to get everything. Like, like was mentioned before, private sex work is still... What was it like? Not... It's legal with an asterisk. Legal with an asterisk. There we go. So you can do it, so in that circumstance I would say the transaction is like, say you charge 300 bucks an hour, you'd get that whole 300 bucks. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay. My, my hourly rate for private is 600. I mean, hell, I'd do 600. Okay, now there's a deleted message, and I don't know what it is, and Claire has been timed out. I mean, the conversation was ongoing, but it seemed like that was a bit of a jump the gun if I didn't even get to see what was said. No, it wasn't auto-mod. I like how he drops black blood everywhere as you do this fight. Like, he's... 
used to be. By the time you fight him at this point, he's far from whatever you could consider human. Um, no, he's trying to consume the Dark Souls. Hi, Ginger Morph. How you going? Oh, yeah, he's doing this to get the pigment um, to give to the girl in the painted world, so she can paint a new world. I, uh, that's always been a weird storyline, a weird plot element. Oh, hugs! Can you just give me hugs? First hugs of the night would be here the entire time. <laughs> Hello. Multiple no. hugs. If it's better, why don't more people do sex work? Because it's incredibly stigmatized, re like, relatively dangerous because of male privilege and a lot of all this shit. And also, yeah, um, it's illegal in most places. True. There we go. That, that answers that question. You can remove the timeout now. Mm -hmm. Head pats, by the way, and us. There you go. Flex them guns. Um. All right. If you want to go, you want to go. But I mean, you're not really paying attention to the points being made. I will say that much. I mean, I've I've been around sex workers throughout my life, and I'm dating one. <laughs> I'm inclined to take their perspective over this particular take. Her Highness Queen Bee, hello. How are you doing? I'm I'm thinking maybe I should just like you know what, K Gail, kill me. Um, I, this was a fail attempt. I took too many big hits right off the bat, and I've done like 200 damage to the gun. I don't really care about what's going on in your whispers, honestly. You know, if you want to have the conversation, have it here in chat. I wish people would have a conversations of about things instead of just being like, "I'm right, gonna leave." I mean, there's a lot of that. That's basically Twitter, though. <laughs> If you say something and you get more likes than the other person, you just go. You can just go L plus ratio, bestie. Log off. <laughs> but I mean, to be fair, we are in an environment where we've got one side that's experienced with the, the subject at hand, and another that's forming theirs based off vibes. So, Abby is cute. I'm right. I'm leaving. Doesn't leave. <laughs> True though. I am cute. So true, bestie. Oh, fuck off, Gale, you cunt. Can't believe there's royalty here. Should I curtsy? Yes, curtsy. Uh, maybe you're just old, but you would ideally prefer Clara learn something. I mean, Soph can be the the arbiter of the conversation if you want. Offer? Offer, like, answers to the questions being proposed or offer your thoughts on the takes being put forward. Do you want me to come off that if you want me yeah. Do you want to grab a chair? Like, um... You can try to get it in here. It's a bit tricky. Right, um, or you can grab the one of the kitchen things if you want. We can keep the stream going longer while I fight Gale if we want to have this chat. But I'm not a civil person. I'm a, I'm a horribly <laughs> uncivil person. Gale, fuck you. You got it in? Sweet. <laughs> got it in. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That's what it said. Good girl. You get it? Oh, fucking hell. Is the amp in the way? Let me move this. Oh, you should have got me to do it. Unbased and cripple pilled. Cringe. Here we go. Now there's two of us. You can keep your switch if you want, but it's up to you. I mean. Guitar. I should try to play guitar. Slam, smash. Uh, yes, very different types of sex work. Uh, stripping and uh, erotic dancing. Obviously, form. <coughs> uh, there's pornographic stuff. Um, 
like stuck behind the corn hub or other sites. Mm. <coughs> Oh, it's triggered here. Uh, Hang on, okay. I see you've brought here guests. Here. Ruku, Welcome. thank you so kind for the, Friends. the raid. I'm gonna move the mic over a little bit. So it's more closer to both of us, hopefully. Mm -hmm. is now laying on a plastic bag. I'm just letting myself die. Oh, thank you for changing the lights. <coughs> Podcast <coughs> time, let's go. Okay, welcome in Raiders. How'd your stream go? Tell us all about it. Well, I fight Slave Night Gale, and Magia talks about sex work. How goes Dark Souls? Well, we're nearly done. We're two bosses till the end of everything. So, you know. Oh, uh, fuck, hello. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, different types of sex work. There's obviously, like, strip and erotic dancing stuff. Uh, pole dancing is generally considered it, uh, so that's kind of iffy. Obviously, there's full service stuff, which is what I primarily do, <clears throat> which is, like, uh... uh and then my full service is often, often broken up into, um, like, uh, private and brothel stuff. Brothel stuff tends to be safer. <coughs> um, obviously. And then there's obviously, like, um, private stuff which tends to be more dangerous, but obviously you don't get a cut of your pay taken by the brothel. Uh, <coughs> and then there's uh, a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, there's pornographic stuff, uh, you know, you can kind of gather from that. Uh, compensated dating in a lot of uh, places is considered a form of sex work. And a lot of people uh, consider it sex work, I do as well. Um, I pretty much do everything on the spectrum, so there's that. <clears throat> so, as for your question towards uh, if there is different types, yes. Can you guys hear me all right, by the way? I can turn the game down if you want. I would ah. I would do pole dancing, but because of a lot of my body on YouTube, I can't. Project Zomboid, oh yeah. <laughs> we're, we're split between gaming and sex work. Um, let me turn the, the <coughs> game down. Hang board. on, let me move a bit closer to the mic. Yeah, while I turn yeah, the... Turn the yeah, I'm turning the game down. If I can remember where the fuck the audio settings are. There we go. That might be cool. Oh yeah. I'll move over. Hang on. Let me fix the mic so it's like... Because we got two chairs intertwined here. <coughs> okay. So. Should I bring this closer? I'll put it... Sorry for like everyone. I'm here. Oh fuck. <coughs> okay. So there you go. You've got the mic. It's a hot mic. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking loud so you can probably hear me anyway. Hot girl, hot mic. Hot girl, hot mic. It's actually not a very hot mic. Don't buy the blue snowball. It's actually trash. Get yourself a better microphone. We get chips and dip. Hell yeah. We got chippy chips. here, but no dip. Here. Um, there's more chippy. But it's funny and round. I, <clears throat> I think they're primarily inferring that uh, full service stuff is more negative, I guess, given that's usually what's the most restricted. And that's usually as a result of, like, if we go back far enough, um, patriarchal Christian bullshit trying to put sex on a pedestal, essentially, to almost... What's the phrasing I'm looking for here? Well, the, the primary reason that sex work is, um, so stigmatized as it is now is because, um, well, <clears throat> uh, Abrahamic religions have always considered that something irrefutably bad. Yes. Yeah. You know, what is, I don't know what Thera means by different kinds of sex work and make people feel differently. Like, which people feel differently? How do I get that? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what you mean, like... Like, Any kind of work can make anyone it, feel It is the most dangerous, specifically privatized thing. But that's also just because uh, rape culture. Well, yeah, rape culture is yeah. a massive part of the whole thing, yeah. and that exists for a reason. Well, not for a reason. It exists because men. But <clears throat> Well, there are reasons it exists, but those reasons are bad. <laughs> Duh. Probably affects how people participate. Yeah, like a lot of people. I think there are a lot of people. Like your stat, your your message before, which got you timed out, 
about how if sex work was so good, why don't more people do it? Um, you can probably feel this a bit better than I could. Because but... you're probably going to get fucking disowned by most of your family, unless yeah, you have an amazing like... family like mine, or an amazing parent. Society does not look upon sex work favorably, decriminalized or no. And I mean, <clears> even like putting the work part of things aside, society still doesn't look upon even just like um, embracing one's sexuality in any way, shape, or form. And I'm not talking about like if you're bi or gay or whatever. I'm talking about if you embrace that you are a sexual person and you and you like that about yourself. Society society still looks upon that as a negative thing. So yeah, if you if you choose to go into sex work as a field, there's more on top of that. My drink. Oh yeah. There's also a lot of internalized shame that stops people from, from a lot of people going into it. Mm. Um, specifically amongst uh, cis women, it's incredibly toxic amongst cis women. Like, uh, this is something I've seen a lot happen. It's like um, a teenage girl will go out showing her midriff or something, and. Uh, her friend's parents might say something like, oh, that girl's gonna end up being a stri stripping for cash. I mean, Shit I, like that. I've got an example just fairly recently-ish. I was out with someone who, I guess you could say is a friend. Um, we were out just shopping, just wandering around and all this kind of thing. And um, he made remarks towards two girls that were in the same shop as us while they were out of earshot that were just incredibly and unnecessarily sexually driven. Like, the, the kind of, like, you know... You would only dress like that if you're an absolute whore kind of shit, and it's just it's flagrantly unnecessary attitude, but it's entirely prevalent, and that contributes to the stigma. Uh, yeah, I was disowned by my grandmother for talent when I uh, when it came out in the woodwork that I was a sex worker at the age of fifteen, which was uh, a very bad situation. I'm not going to go any more into it, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, so I've been doing this for a while, is my point. <clears throat> Dang it. Sorry, distracted. <laughs> Like others want to take away others' free will. Oh yeah, funny that. Weird how that keeps happening for some reason. <clears throat> Just because a job's dangerous doesn't make it in any intrinsically worse than another job. I mean, working on an oil rig is fucking dangerous. But there's exactly. Plenty of people who would want to go into that. It's good, good, good money. Yeah, exactly. Same with sex work. But not everybody has the capacity to get into that. Yeah, because not everybody has the physical abilities to. And then everybody has <coughs> the privilege to know somebody in the field that'll get them a leg up either. Going into the military is incredibly dangerous, but is can be rewarding in that you become a war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I love that! I want to be a war criminal. No. Please don't. No. <laughs> nine, nine is the only one I need to know. Ah, oh, fuck you. Anyway. Oh yeah, they were in the... I, I forgot about that. What <clears throat> the work itself isn't what's inherently dangerous. The da the dangerous part about sex work is the rape culture, as I said, and mm -hmm. the fact that um, a lot of people like think once the money is exchanged that uh, the worker has consented. That's not the case. E even once the money's changed hands, the worker can refuse to say, um, refuse to do anything True. that the uh, client wants, and the same goes for the client and the worker. <laughs> what? Queen B? This is the Wikipedia for US Army War Crimes to a recruit! Fucking based! Oh my god. Love it. <coughs> uh, most physical jobs are dangerous, yes, we've got it now. 
Selling your body in capitalism, so all jobs are inherently the same. I mean, on that front, yes. Well, I mean, no in the sense that, well, I mean, yeah, you sell your body in every, under every um Yeah, but that's, that's not how it, that's not how street, works wo street work even works, no, Carl. No. That, I, I think that's what you're misconstruing, because, <clears throat> well, like, it's not like you, like, some guy would come up to me like, yeah, I'll give you $50 for a blowjob. Start like, so it's way yes, too cheap. Yes, that would be <laughs> you don't have any structure in place to protect yourself. But um, street work, despite it being called, um, despite it being called that, is very, uh, very rarely actually done off street. It's primarily done online, in which like, uh, well, the way I do it <coughs> is through certain sites, uh, where I'll post an ad saying I am my, I have open slots. Someone will oh, crazy. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, I do. That's kind of the point of why it's up there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, some people use Grinder. Other people use things like FetLife or Trist. <clears throat> people offering you money for someone who is not overtly a sex worker is just gross. Also, it's Grinder is self harm. Let's be honest. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, Craigslist had a massive thing with it, and the only reason that got so big is because people hate sex workers but it's the fact that it's done online is clients only really contact sex workers when they're actively looking uh when the sex worker itself is actually actively working if that makes sense yeah there are so many uh felt life people on uh, creepy people on Fat Life, but that's also like <laughs> my primary source of income at the end of the day. I saw him. Him sit. You do sit. Aww. I'm gonna grab a drink. Um, so yeah, y'all continue chatting. I will have some. Oh, I've got mine. I'm gonna see what else I've got on the um in the refrigerator. <coughs> uh, we've got monsters. Mm. We've got milk. We've got juice. Do we have juice? Do we have juice? We should still have some of that pineapple juice stuff. I'll oh. grab that if it's there. Oh, I uh, my. My DMs, I don't really get particularly bad ones. I just get people who are just like, <clears throat> "Oh, I'm gonna book you," and then they just thing. I'm like, "Okay, cool. I'm gonna need a uh, insurance payment." Basically, I will ask them to send over a certain amount of money uh, directly to my PayPal or uh, direct wire to my card. Hiding my feet. <laughs> Keep going. And then uh, from that point onwards. Uh, the booking is actually confirmed, and then they come in on the arranged time. They come to the, uh, come in in the arranged time for my in call for the in call and do it that. But, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, I don't really get like people asking me to do it for exposure or anything. The only w only times I get that is when I'm doing it as a fucking when I'm being a fucking photographer. <laughs> God, I look horrendous. Um, do not. Hi, chat. Maddie says hi. Oh. Hi, chat. I got the rest of the uh, pine orange. Oh. And I got nuts. No, it. Whoa. No, it. Nut. This pleases the nut. I'm playing my stupid fucking peak rock game. Yeah, and you're doing very good. Yeah. Thank you. Praise the nut. Oh, I mean, it, de it really depends on where you're trying to uh, market yourself. Uh, if you're like trying to market yourself on like fucking Reddit, yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> but that's that. Don't 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 market yourself as a sex worker on Reddit. That's just that's also just, just don't use Reddit. Have yeah. some standards for yourself, please. No, that's <laughs> that's honestly just a bad time. Reddit is self harm. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I would. Uh, if obviously I wouldn't I'd do it as a child, like I was giving as a, that to Gail, by the way, as a literal minor again. But <clears throat> uh, sex work is the most profitable form of work I can do as a physically and mentally disabled person, and is uh, 
currently and has in the past kept me alive, and I actually quite enjoy the work because of uh, the fact that I am a horny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not attracted to men, but dick is still dick. And I've also met a lot of really, really wonderful people through sex work. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I technically met Addy through my sex work twiddle. True, yeah, true. And can I just, like, full disclosure for a second? Sex work is something I have long, and I mean long, considered getting into. So. There are genuinely people who want to do this shit, and it shouldn't be, like, a problem. Gick is the- We're not doing gick! We're not doing gick, and we're not doing gulge, okay? We're gulge! <laughs> Gok is the only valid one. Gok is valid. Everything else can fuck off. Reddit is grown up 4chan. It's really not, though. It's not more grown up. What about Gok? Gok is acceptable. Didn't I just say that? Oh, Glock. What, Glock. Fuck. You mean you can call my cock a fuck if you want. But, you, know. you meant the people are all... I mean, yeah. Reddit could be considered to be Boomer 4chan, I suppose. Um... Reddit's nice to, like, the Gumpla communities. I mean, yeah, there are dedicated communities on Reddit that are good, but the broader Reddit community is fucking garbage. And, like, I, I guarantee you, because, like, I'm on a number of trans subs, and every so often, like, there'll be a post on uh, the sis okay, right? Hi, I'm a, I'm a trans I'm a sub. sub. <laughs> Shut up, you little... What? Words I can't say because of TOS. Um, which I've said before, but I'm not going to risk it. Um... What was I going to say? Fuck, Gail's beating the shit out of me and I can't focus. Um, every so often, yeah, there'll be a poster on Are The Sis Okay? It's like a screenshot of a Reddit thread from r slash teenagers, and I guarantee you, like, at least two-thirds of the r teenagers community um, are, like, groomers. <laughs> uh, yes, I have so many fucking stories, but I'm not going to say any of them because I don't want my girlfriend to get banned when this is, like... Yeah, I feel like some of those stories might be a bit too... Well, it's hard to say. I feel like, you know... I mean, the Irish guy one's great. <laughs> Try and switch. A switch light is just, um, um, is just, uh, expensive for bottom. We yes. should talk yes, about... Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Switch light. Yes, we're probably, yeah. Switch light? Switch light. You can't light. dock a switch light, though. That's no. the joke. Oh, oh shit. I'm a dom. Hey. Where are you? Hey. You're not a dom. Dom. <laughs> and also... We should talk about the distinction between top bottom and sub dom. Different people have different distinctions, in my experience. I mean, yeah, true. I mean, I will jokingly call these two bottoms when what I'm actually trying to say is they're being subby, which are two different things. Like, would you say topping and bottoming is more the physical sex act kind of position, and um, sub and dom are um, actual roles. Top and, in my experience, top and bottom is, uh, who, who is actively taking the con- who is actively taking the lead and the control. Yeah. So, uh, sub and dom tends to be primarily a kink thing, from what I've found. Yeah, generally. So they're not exactly the same. Hmm. It is a little oh, dragon. We love the dragon. We love the dragon. He have wings. Oh. I'm putting nuts in my mouth. Save that for the other really, side. Madeline bought me the dragon, right? Because I saw you it on dragon? Berserk, which is a site that I regularly frequent. And um, by the time I had Madeline the money to try and buy it, it was completely sold out. Actually, no, I didn't have the money to buy it. Yes. It was completely sold out, and then uh, Maddie bought it for me one day, uh, and then yes. she fell in love with it. Clara, uh, top bottom is something that isn't um, particularly indicative of gender or limited by gender. Also, it's <coughs> worth like, excuse me. I mean, there are things like, for example, service topping, right, where you take the role of the top in the sexual encounter, but it's more like you're doing it for the pleasure of the, the pleasure of the other one. Have I got that right? Something like that. Like, you're... Like, maybe you might, you might be less um, in that position, but... Tip, uh, topping, top and bottom usually indicates, like, who was the one, who was the person doing the penetrating, but that's a relatively 
sheltered way of looking at it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's a pretty shallow. Um, it's a surface level, I understand. Like, I, I guess the best way to put it is, like, power bottoming is a type of topping. Yeah. It's, it's, it's primarily who has the control. Yeah, it's who has the control in the, in, the, in the encounter. You can also top and be submissive. Mm-hmm. Service topping is when you do it for the troops. Fucking Christ. Chill. Is that nine? Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Actually, can I have juice? Yeah, I can have you. The recruiters don't talk about that. But what was the thing that was, like, uh, something about the Navy? Um. Oh missing. yeah, when that streamer got banned for using the bundle of sticks F slur. Somebody tried to justify it in the comments that like straight men could be able to use it if they were in the navy. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you on about? <laughs> uh, that, that, that's because there's like a recurring joke that uh, navy people are yeah. gay. Yeah. It still doesn't justify the use of a slur commonly used uh, against gay people. Queer minority. That was the dumbest fucking shit, though. He got thoroughly dragged for that, and unfortunately, because this <clears> dude that did call his friend the F slur jokingly on a stream, you know, cishet white guy, um, caught no flack for it at all, mind you. Um, I mean, he did. Like, the community at, at large did trash this guy for using the word. But he was not... He was, he's a big streamer. He's got, you know, a couple hundred thousand followers or whatever it is. Are you um, missing an undead bone shot? Hmm? Are you missing an undead bone shot? No. Oh, that's that's to upgrade your uh, Estus Blast. I know. Well, it's, yours is plus nine. It doesn't go... It doesn't max out a plus nine. Um... Maybe it does. My... If I go to, um... Firelink, it, maybe I'm missing one, <coughs> yeah. As a switch... And... A ver... And a, um... What's, what's the term? A switch. Verse. Verse. And a bisexual, I cannot make decisions. <laughs> I, I literally can't make decisions at all. Yeah, my, my fire, my firing shrine, my bonfire level is 10. I think it does go to 11, actually. And I'm trying to think, where's the one I'm missing? Not that I really care that much. You don't care? Not really. Yeah, Dark Souls? I don't care about a thing in Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm only playing this game to punish myself. That's my job. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I know you like that. Punish me, daddy. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want anything that I don't <laughs> What was it Sweet Anita did that as a tick once? That was fucking hilarious. I am the Uber Quill. They're saying it there. I am the Switch vs. Supreme. Mm -hmm. Uberquill. God, I'm not gonna say that anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, okay, you're doing a flippy thing. Chuck a heal on me, bitch. Oh, oh. oh my god, I staggered him! <laughs> you want Nintendo to make another GameCube? Nintendo should just not make another console. <coughs> Just to disappoint Nintendo stands. It's not gonna be called the GameCube. No. What would the difference be? Wasn't GameCube just a games console back then? Like it was just like a PlayStation, but it had Nintendo games. Like, given that Nintendo seems to be wanting to move their focus towards Switch-style um, portability, like home console and portable, I think. Was I, I want Nintendo to make another fucking Fire Emblem already. <gasps> oh. Have you, have you played Fire Emblem? No, I haven't. Can I've you heard Fire Emblem. Cool. <laughs> you see, it was a box. I mean, yeah, true, it was a box. It was like that thing from Drake and Josh, but it was cubular instead of spherical. Yeah, I just made a Drake and Josh reference. What? This can probably play Twilight Princess. <laughs> <laughs> can we get Doom to run on a tissue box? Has someone got John Carmack's number? Can we get Megalovania to play on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Can we get Tifa Lockhart Rule 34 to play on it? <clears throat> I need to finish uh, FF7 Remake. I haven't played... I've played Final Fantasy 15 for about 8 hours. That's m the most experience I have with any Final Fantasy game. Uh, 7 and 9 are good. Mm -hmm. 9 gave me depression. Oh, fun. So did 9. The world's oldest computer is locked away in a museum under heavy guard to stop nerds from trying to run doom on it. <laughs> can you run doom in Minecraft? Uh, you can, yes. Someone's done it. I hate that that's a thing that's happened. <laughs> Someone needs to get doom to run in Terraria now. Yeah. Can't wait for doom to... I can't wait for Doom to run on the fucking Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> no, they need to get Doom to run on Doom. That's what you do. You, you, you launch an instance of Doom. And there's a screen somewhere in Doom that plays Doom. Like the original. Yes. Yeah. Play Doom on like an abacus. Uh, no. It wasn't the first computer. And it was Alan Turing. And yes, he was gay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd run Doom on an abacus. Very unbased. Hmm? Alan Turing. Oh, yeah. I hypnotically castrated a guy for both of them once. Hmm. That was kinky. <laughs> Need Femboy Hooters already. I mean, we do, don't we? The fact that Hooters itself acknowledged the existence of Femboy Hooters on Twitter. So is Benedict Cumberbatch actually a person? Yes, remarkably. Bendy Dick Cucumber Patch is actually a person. <laughs> Bendy the ink, ink Machine Come on Patch. <laughs> come on Patch. <laughs> no, Hooters is misogynistic. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's still a lot of sex, but... <clears throat> porn. I'm kind of surprised that Hooters still continues chugging along, given everything. I mean, the, the one time I went to Hooters, I got served by the most Hooters girl you ever did see. And Dad took me there once. Of course. Not like as a, not like, oh, oh, look at the hot girls thing, but he's like, yeah, we can go to Hooters because, like, it's got food. Wow. <laughs> no one's going there for the food, though. No. I still can't believe you They're going six, there to six, try and turn ones. their children straight. Pardon? They're trying to turn their children straight. I worked out. <laughs> or, the, or, or, or their daughter's gay. Either or. So, um. Hmm? Oh, Sex Pub was the most disappointing thing I've ever been to in my life. I met Ron Jeremy and I greatly regret it. He didn't rape me though, at least. So, you know, we got that going for us. <laughs> it could have happened, I'm just saying. I mean, I. I. No. People wanted me to go to Sex Pub, but like. I do actual kink stuff, not just being slapped and seeing daddy and thinking that's hard kink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we, we probably can't talk hard kink, holy shit. Oh, we won't. That's all I'm gonna say. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm just putting that out there for the audience. I am considering adding an NSFW section to the Discord though, so we can have those kind of discussions if you want, but... That's... The basically, problem. just use my Twitter out of this up. <laughs> yeah. Everyone go follow... I, was, I nearly called you by your name, um, by your worker name. Mm. Mm. Follow what is it at Ari Cuddle Queen yeah. on Twitter. You don't have to follow me there. I mean, you could probably get a reasonable following answering SW questions on that. No, I, mean, I, I know someone who actually did that, mm. except on TikTok. Yeah, it's a thing. They're a Sydney-based sex worker named Gigi. I wish I was, like, educated on literally any subject so I could, like, make content out of my knowledge of a thing. You can make content... You're a hot female body video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. To be fair... Have you and seen... you're also entertaining! Yes. Have you seen Vardy? I mean, he's not I'm... ugly. Pardon? I mean, he's not ugly, but also that... That said, you're also entertaining, so you beat him out anyway. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, I'm not into dudes, but Vardy can get it. <laughs> Vardy, Vardy can hit it for a 50% discount. <laughs> yeah. 
Please nobody clip that and add Vardy video, because that would be incredibly embarrassing. We'll do it. Do it. Hey, I'm <laughs> getting followers now. Thank you. <laughs> that worked. Th thank you, Kira. I don't know anyone near as much as Vardy does about Vardy. Dark Souls. Um, Vardy. Vardy, uh, v -A -A -T -I is a Dark Souls YouTuber who has been on the decline since 2011. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, he's great, but also... FromSoft doesn't have a lot of content to make videos about. No, true. Like, if Vati releases a new video, it's like, oh my god, he's actually still alive. Mm. Whereas, Souls, like, Challenger on streamers and shit, they've got a, a wealth of content because there's, like, so many weapons in the games you could do runs with. Mm. There's mods. There's, there's a whole bunch of things. And like, the, Lance and McDonald has pivoted to uh, streaming, and as a result, <coughs> people are, you know, he's sort of staying more relevant because he's doing stuff outside of FromSoft mm. games. And then you have, uh... People who were like uh, soul creators, like Minnie Mouse, who pr who went from that to making some of the best fucking content on YouTube. Based. Have I shown you Minnie Mouse? Um, home. I'll I'll show you his uh, this on a video. It's great. Yeah, show me. Ah, could I uh, give some really useful advice to your wife and you are expecting a child in the next couple of weeks? Have any words of wisdom for being a trans parent? Don't have children. Um, become opaque. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes, congratulations, first of all. Um, I mean, the, the thing is, I already had kids by the time I transitioned, and I do not plan on having any more. Um, so, you know, there's a difference from having, like, a new baby versus having children that are already there. So I feel like you might have an easier time um having your children understand your gender and pronouns and all that sort of thing. If that's a if that's an issue you might be concerned about. I mean, you could also just not tell them that you're trans, but that's also kind of defeats the purpose. No, but still, I would want my... I think I would want my kids to know if they were, like... If they didn't already know. I mean, Lincoln... Oh, what, sorry. I, the name, sorry. I mean, I think my... Said the name of the yeah, no. true. I mean... The, your, your youngest knows you're trans, but doesn't really comprehend it, because it's yeah, he's... literally... Barely not an infant. Yeah. He might get more of an understanding of it now that he's in school, but... Whereas my daughter, you know, I've been transitioning through a time where she's more aware of things, aware of stuff like identity, and it's still tricky for her for some reason. And I've tried to explain it, um, but she still doesn't quite get it, and she did say something rather hurtful to me recently um, on that front, but we're not going to go into that. There is a, there is like a good, here's a thing, here's a tip. There's this little elephant toy that you can get, a chewable elephant toy. Forget what it's called, if there is a parent in the audience that knows what it is. Like a Ruskin thing? Yeah, like it's a really fantastic chew toy for kids that are teething. Get one of those fucking things. I don't know what they're called. But for God's sake, get one. They love it. <laughs> also, general word of parenting advice. Don't abuse your kids. Um, <laughs> don't kiss your kids on the mouth. Oh, for God's sake. It was, who was the guy? Who was the footballer or whatever he was? He was injured. And asked his, like, teenage son. Or, like, 12, 14-year-old son. Yeah. I'm Kissing starting to be okay with Miss Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... If you're okay with it, fine, but I honestly genuinely hate the term dad, daddy, father, any of those. I don't identify with those. You know? Male parental people. I never did before either, which is really weird. Because, like, yeah, I am your parent, but I, I just hate the term dad. I hate the term. <clears throat> my my mum in my um in my phone is parental unit number one. <laughs> <laughs> it, used to, it used to be naval uh, parental unit. Somebody slap Gale across the tits for me. Not me. I like getting slapped across the tits, but, you know. What the fuck? Why did I unlock? Wait, you talk to kids? I thought you kind of just looked at them until you started crying. You what? <laughs> Car, it's like, what do you even talk about with kids on the age of 10? 
Come back here, you pussy, with your fucking crossbow. Oh, God. Piss off. I can't even get him to 50%. Can't even imagine what it's like to have kids under 10. What do you even talk about? Knack. Knack 2. Oh, it's past midnight. Fuck. It is. Yeah. Do we want to keep going? Or? I don't know. Do you want to keep going? If you want. I'm chilling to go. Keep if going. you're chill, <laughs> we can keep going if you want. Yeah, my son likes to talk about Knack. And you know, I'm back for knack to screen. <clears throat> Let's talk about the infinite, um, intense, highly detailed lore of knack. <laughs> <laughs> what is knack? That's a good question. Do you want me to start at the beginning? Please do. If you know. Knack is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my parents wanted to call me. Oh. I mean, the thing is, I, I, I can't hate yes. it too much because honestly... As, as bad of a game as it is, my son adores it. That is, it is kind of. I, it's I, cute. I wish I could get him a knack plushie, but have you seen the design of that fucking character? You uh, couldn't make a plushie out of him. Who is knack? How is knack? The best player. Thigh is knack. <laughs> I have a. Is yeah, why is knack? When is when knack? It's a game about a little robot. Made out of ancient eldritch relics. Yeah. Right? And it's about the conquesting genocide using said robot um, of humans upon a race of like goblins or whatever. Knack 2 is one of the best games ever made. It's literally a game about imperialism. Like. <laughs> They paint the goblins as the ultimate villains, and then they justify wiping them out from that. You know, did they bring them out of existence, like the Australian government did? <laughs> Wait, I just realized what I inferred there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is not what I meant. God, I don't want to do. <laughs> One of the best games ever made. I need to stop talking. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, Sinky? We're doing a Dark Soul. That grown. That grown. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dagron. Maddie's got the Dagron. I'm doing Dark Souls. They're playing Switch. I'm dying to Gale over and over again. I'm playing the Metal Switch. I am playing the Switch. I am pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> one Dark Soul, please. Mm, yes, yes, I'll take one Dark Soul. What is your name? My name is John Dark Soul. How do you do? Oh, that reminds me. This is just like a weird fun fact. Right? That is completely irrelevant to absolutely fucking everything. But, for whatever reason, I, I don't understand why they did this. Um, you know the Sex in the City oh. movie? Sadly. Sadly. You know, it's just one of those things that we're aware exists and we wish it didn't. And we wish we weren't aware of it. But, you know, Sex in the City being a long-running popular TV show back in the day. And then they announced the movie back when it came out. <clears throat> they were doing promo and all that kind of shit, and there was like, a, like literally a news show, like uh, like the news was talking about the fact that they're releasing that movie, right? Just literally an ad on the news, I suppose. And the 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 newsreader lady ends the segment by saying, "Oh, and we also find out the name of <laughs> like the the full name of the Mr. Big character," and then she just says it, and I'm like. Yeah, it's probably not a big deal, right? But it's kind of, I guess, a spoiler that you've just put into your news segment and that for some reason that sticks with me. <laughs> it's like, it, it's not on the same level as if they were like, oh, and we also find out Luke Skywalker's father in The Empire Strikes Back. It's Darth Vader. <laughs> spoilers. Spoilers. I haven't seen it, so I wouldn't know. Don't spoil the movie. <laughs> Women. I like fries with my dark soul. And over that thing, I... your chimkin nuggets. <clears throat> you put on like the feral, uh, the ghoul voice from fucking Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Snow skin. skin. You wanna buy some death sticks? <laughs> you don't want to sell me death sticks. These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to sell me death sticks. No, I wasn't. That wasn't quite right. I'm jumping between voices. I don't even know what Gale sounds like. 
swear everyone, every time so you pop into chat, someone makes you hungry. Well, it could have been making you horny earlier. This is a very sex positive stream, so we were talking sex work earlier. Sex? Yes. Sex? <laughs> Whenever I see a sex marker on a form, I, I just put yes. I put lots. <laughs> lots. <laughs> Sex. I I actually like I, I was filling out a um a proof of age card form and accidentally did that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh great, now I have to get a new one. Oh, That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Sex plus 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 plus. <laughs> Sex brutal. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself. Oh. I don't think I've had much brutal sex. <laughs> We're working on it. Oh. Destructo disc! That's brutal. <clears throat> oh, fuck you, Gail. You're a loser. Fucking eating people for your dark soul painting. Matt, what nerd shit. Fucking... This guy, this guy's simping so hard, he j he literally cannibalized people for his, uh... For a painting, what a fucking loser. <laughs> Bet he goes to museums and shit and looks at the rocks. Hey, I, I do, that. do that. Here. I like doing that. <laughs> I like the rocks, I like the spiders. Oh, here's the thing. Is that there's gotta be a museum somewhere in, in Mel that's got a, um... That's got, uh, what's it called? Um... Spruders? Yeah, like spiders in, um, like dead spiders in, encased in like, uh, little frames. Uh, Do they have those? Like pin spiders? I want one of those. Like, I know I, I said I don't want more stuff, right? I dated a, um, girl who used to pin butterflies to a board. Oh yeah. It's actually kind of neat. Oh uh, yeah, there was a lot of... <laughs> <clears throat> there. Oh. Uh, questionable things? Yeah. yeah. I just want a spider in a frame, and I don't want it to be Vess because she's not dead yet. I'd get her. I would get her mounted if I, if, when, if and when she dies. She might live forever. You know, I don't know. She might outlive me. No comment. Damn, call me Vess. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. By the way, yes, she is named after the character from The Witcher Two and Three. Mm -hmm. A character that's like barely relevant to anything, honestly. Like, I've never. Uh, really... She's pretty relevant in 2, but you haven't played 2. So I've played a bit of 2, but not a lot. I do know if you take a certain plotline, you can sleep with her at some point. Yeah. You, be you, you beat her up, and then she sleeps with you. Lol. Hot. Hot. Yes. Like, you actually, like. And, like, the thing is, right? If you're playing on the, um. God damn, Gale, fuck. And the, thing, three. and the thing is, she's a hard ass fight as well. Do I do any just chatting streams? That's my main content. I've just been doing Dark Souls 3 lately because I'm depressed. Well, same bestie. I will be going back to just chatting streams uh, basically as soon as I'm done with Gale and Soul of Cinder, which might be like as soon as tomorrow night. Or tonight. Or tonight. I doubt I'll beat Soul of Cinder. If I kill Gale tonight, I doubt I'll beat Soul of Cinder tonight. But. Um, story here is so fucked up though when the niece is like, I wonder when Uncle Gale will come back and you give her his blood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the story here is so fucked up, just sums up Dark Souls, honestly. Sums up FromSoft games in general. Bloodborne is very fucked up. Bloodborne is like, literally everyone has a bad ending fucked up. Like, there's no good ending to Bloodborne. No, there is. You become a worm. Oh, well, I mean, it's a squid. It's a squid. No, it's a wormy boy. Everything's it's a, a worm. It's a worm. Shut up. <laughs> I will tell- I'm doing the, the squid ending. Um... Yay, I wanna see it. They're making- they're making Elden Ring soon, which, for all we know, might be a little bit more... Well, I was gonna say, for all we know, it might be a little bit more positive, but the- the lore has been penned by George R. R. Martin, so I mean, probably fucking not, actually. It's so great, it's gonna have a lot of incest in it. Probably. Just gotta eat some umbilical cords first, but who doesn't do that anyway? Yeah, I mean, that's a part of a healthy diet. If you're not eating umbilical cords, you never grow up to be big and strong. How do you think I got these biceps? <laughs> I mean, I mean, there are, uh... Did you know there's only two mammals in existence that don't eat their own placenta? Oh, really? Humans and camels. I mean, there are some humans that eat placenta. Yeah, but I meant, like, like oh, as a default off. thing. 
Anyway, um, stream was buffering. Yeah, I've been playing Dark Souls lately, but the game's almost done. And when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to take a break from games, go back to just chatting. Um, uh, because I've been incredibly fucking busy lately. Um, not really, but I like to say that I have been. If she misses the big cam. Yeah. The what? Big cam good because get to see big gum. Yeah. Oh. I'm more close on that. I am slapping the gale around and I can't even hear the. Oh, there we go. I heard one sound effect. Can't even hear his music at the moment. Because, like, we're sort of talking over the game in the background. Lol. Staggered. Pussy. Lol. <laughs> Fuck, what was I gonna say? Something about Gale being a pussy? No, uh, I was gonna say get ratio. <laughs> <laughs> L plus ratio plus. I hope you're doing plus okay. You fell off. <laughs> plus you fell off. Plus flop. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, you get tentacles in Bloodborne. It's the one true good ending. But that's the bad dragon ending. <laughs> <laughs> The, 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 there's the Sekiro Dragon's Return ending. Is there a bad dragon ending as well? Get it? Aha! Because <laughs> it's a good ending. I think. I don't know. I don't know Sekiro. Enjoy your membership. Degenerate, thank you for being a sub mate. Hell yeah. I might turn the game audio back up a little bit. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I'm not talking about important shit anymore. Just so I can hear a little bit. And you can listen. Listen to Gale making the noise. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, just chatting is my normal format. I usually talk about like uh, currently relevant, like trending events, um, politics. I should do that, hey. Yeah. I'm being lazy, and I literally have charcoal pine resin for that reason. Charcoal is does, does fire damage. Fire. I should use my honestly my green oh. blossom. What do green blossom do? Increase your stamina regen. Hell yeah. I know things. I know things. Yay, I'm proud of you. I can't wait to do a dual whip running in Eldering. I'm doing it. That's a little bit more damage. I actually do wonder, like, will human resin make much of a difference to him? Or will he like that? A fine dark soul to you. I can't remember, I don't think you can summon anyone for Gale. You can summon players, but server drop too. The hackers were destroying people's video games and computers actually. Not hoggers. Got a comfy raise at work recently, have some. Been too busy celebrating though, and we'll probably have a long Friday. Weekend's on the way though, nice, nice, nice. Congrats! Um, imagine having a job where you get raises. <laughs> True. <laughs> imagine having a job. This is the closest thing I have to work at the moment. The, the, the only time I ever got a raise is when I made that cop pay me extra. A <laughs> <laughs> cab, all cops are baka. All cops are baka. baka. <laughs> oh god, I wanted the boss. <laughs> I can't wait for you to. Literally meet my child and hear him say this shit. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can wait. Definitely wait. The sign copper sign. Sign copper sign. Just kill him. Wait, grind. No, grind it up. Don't go on grinder, folks. It's gay. Derogatory. <laughs> By the way, you're gay. If you're here, you're gay. I'm gay. She's gay. I'm gay. There's multiple gays here, and we're, we're telling you right now you're gay. I'm gay. You're all homosexuals. Homosexuals. <laughs> you're cishet, not anymore, you're not. I think I know what I put on. I, I, am, I am the cishet. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh no, you've been found out. Pan, that counts as gay. Oh my god, <laughs> Phage. No cishets allowed. Oh. <laughs> I too am gay. Don't don't worry. Uh, don't worry. 
Don't worry, general. We'll, we'll work on fixing it. Yeah, we'll turn you gay sooner. <coughs> at least pan, at least pan. Is it gay to Twitch chat? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, Twitch chat is incredibly homosexual. I mean, Finster. True. Finster's unfair. That's just, that's just not allowed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's actually Darius worse. Hmm? It's actually Darius. Uh, see, nice sneaky. Oh, okay. <laughs> Femboys that look more feminine than me shouldn't exist. I'm sorry, there are people who look more feminine and attractive than me. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to be hotter than me. They don't, no, they don't exist. Sense. They exist when it's me. Yes. They're more attractive than me. Mm. Not more attractive than me. Okay, I'm a solid 11, let's be honest. Yes. Mm. No, let's hot. be honest, we're a 14. I'm... I'm an 18. Yeah, Damn. Hello, fellow gays. Be sent me a picture. Buskamai. Bus oh, Buskini. Fuck. Speaking of Buscemi, um, when was the last time we raided Noom? Noom. A friend of mine who has Buscemi memes as part of their contact with the vague resemblance. Do I need to start incorporating like David Tennant memes into my content now because apparently I vaguely resemble David Tennant? No. I'll be like... You're David Tennant, you like David Tennant if you're going through it. I'm not like other girls' face, except, <laughs> except actually hot. That, that picture I used of the... Of the yeah, that was such an eggy <laughs> picture. Go go to my Twitter feed right now, if you haven't already today, and take a look at the uh, quote-unquote trans timeline I posted, which is literally just like... It's, I don't know why um, trans femmes do this to ourselves, but I finally decided to do it. I took an old photo of myself, right, and I went on those which celebrities do I look like things, and David Tennant came up as a result, and I actually looked and like, well, actually... Fuck, there is a vague resemblance there, so I did a trans timeline of David Tennant and then current me. I wanna know what, um... Uh, I have better beard off. genetics though. Well, not anymore, because I've, because I've lasered it mostly off. Because when you put girl beard, it wasn't just a sprinkling, sprinkling of pubes. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, if he actually grew it out, there was like a stubble in that particular photo. Like, he just hadn't shaved for a couple of weeks or something. I, I wanna know what celebrity I you see how cool you Like, the thing that gets me, though, is that picture I used of David Tennant in that timeline literally looks like Egg Me in such a fucking bad way. Like, literally, depression beard, given up all hope kind of look. And it's like, it's so... It's like, it, it makes sense. <laughs> Do you want a deal? I have some deal. I would have a deal. I have nine I of them. I want trans deal. <laughs> I want to pet trans deer on the head. Someone find Doe and say Abigail Beck wants to pet Doe. I want pet that. I want to give pet that. With, with consent. <laughs> we weren't talking about a head, babe, but okay. <laughs> this is the worst culprit, not even a fanboy, he's British. Uh, <laughs> at least he's not French. Or something. Just kidding, French people don't exist. Fake country, made up country, made up flag. <coughs> Hello Green. Hello Green, how you doing? Fuck you, Gail. Your mother's a whore. In a bat in a bat sorry way. <laughs> Your mother's an accountant, but an actual accountant, that's probably better. Okay. <laughs> accountant derogatory. Your mother's a state prosecutor! My girlfriend's an accountant and like a liberal uh, council member. Did either of us hit each other? Yeah, we did. Somehow I dodged the cape hit. I don't know what happened there. But... Why he kicked you down? It cloth. A very spiky plot, apparently. You know, Destructo Disc. Enough Destructo Disc. Heck, though, he kind of just looks like a Code Vein character. He does. His moveset is just full-blown guns. Like the... the big fuck-off sword that he's one-handing. The crossbow, which... He doesn't <coughs> have the arm cut off, but... 
Uh, honestly, wouldn't know. <clears throat> Berserk is something that can't happen. True. The character is endemic to From Software's work, though. Yes, because Miyazaki is a simp. Miyazaki wants to get fisted by Berserk, um, by, by his missing arm. By the by the corpse of Kintaro Miura. <laughs> <laughs> hey Josie, how's it going? No, don't do that. Oh, here we go. He's he's going Super Saiyan three. Fuck. That's grim. I I I make dark jokes. I mean, let's be real. That's health here. I'm an edge lord. Yeah, but I love you, Tor. Oh, you can't. You see, she is full of safety though. Huh? Tears would have saved you. Though. It would have, yeah. I could have had it, but I could try to put tears on his face three starts. <coughs> hugs, I'll take hugs. Hello. Get Maddie in too. This is not the run. Kisses and head pats. I get head pats. You're gonna ruin my makeup. Oh no, well, I'm <laughs> totally not going to do that later. <laughs> <laughs> People always remember 4chan for the mass shooters and racism, but they never remember it also. Both memes and anonymous. Was <clears throat> anonymous a good thing, though? 4chan <laughs> also uh, birthed TTT. And that's a TTT. That's it. What's and that that's, one? Uh, trans, 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 basically the, um... Uh, basically, Tris Gun, uh, Scythe. Ah, uh, okay. Trash. True scum or trash. True scum going the fucking bin challenge. Yeah, Blair Light cops up. Which, I'm, which is ironic because you have a one. Oh, she had bottom first. Of course she did. It wouldn't be valid if she didn't. <laughs> I thought she made a whole video about how she wasn't gonna get it. Bottom set to use for trendies. <laughs> <laughs> they hate Blair White there? I mean. Fortune, who'd be surprised? What is that shadow wing place over there? Uh, that's where we grow our mushrooms. <laughs> that's the cum corner. We're growing my- we're growing me a child there. Flame whip! I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure she made a video about how I'm, I'm not gonna get the bottom surgery. That's for trenders. Ugh. I'm not gonna get bottom surgery because I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get bottom surgery. I'm uh, legally not human. <laughs> I mean, dick is valuable. You know, it's a it's a commodity. It's a commodity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> find <the> <laughs> I would consider bottom surgery. I I want an orchy at least. Orchy, orchy, whatever. Yeah, orchy. <laughs> and yeah. I want FFS. It get through, it's okay. And I um I do want a boob job. Speaking of which, like a boob job in general is a gender affirming surgery, but I don't see uh, cis women requiring like two therapist notes and uh, letters from four fucking GPs and shit to get it. Or whatever the fucking certain are. I mean, it's kind of the same thing with uh, this work. I mean, Cis women don't need a bunch of shit to get it. True, yeah. They just need to kick up enough of the fucks when I'm trans masks. Like, no, nope, suck it up. You can keep bleeding because we said so. Do I? Actually. Oh no, it's, yeah, I put a cigarette out of my hand as well. All fucking done. I did it for the for the meme. Self harm for the meme, lol. Awa. 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 Yeah, I want my brow bone done. I think that's pretty much the only FFS I would want. Actually, just my brow bone. I want that shit. <clears throat> I want something done with my fucking nose. Same. That's fine, man. I got a fat nose. Oh, you can't. Oh, daddy. Hmm? Daddy, daddy, daddy. Daddy. Oh, it's daddy. Go, daddy. 
I don't know if that's going to look. Hang on, let's go like this. Is, is Daddy. Hold it up to the camera closer if you can. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Oh, hang on. Move it over a bit. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> you want your everything changed? You don't care if it's fine now, change it. I just want to get FFS like every other year and completely change my identity and move to a new part of the world. Girl, so actually, actually to Mexico? <laughs> Detransition. Change my identity. Detransition. Retransition. I don't want to be like some knowable entity. I want people to tell stories of this person they once knew who no longer exists. Okay, so it seems like maybe the putting the flames on is not doing a whole lot in terms of extra damage. Maybe, I don't know. I just want my brain to be put in the body of this person. Fuck it. Okay. My, my brain can fit. I don't need all of it. Oh, you, oh I did. I'm not going to get any more human resin. That's not doing anything. Hang on. I think that's actually doing less damage. Uh, try oh. Thunder, maybe? I wanted to... Oh, no. 160 per hit, which is not a lot of extra damage. Now it's 105. 145. That's doing less. You don't know why you're not following- I don't know, Cat! It's possible, like, as you change your Twitch name and, like, Twitch is just fucked up. <clears throat> Twitch is just dumb! The way Dysphoria is, is extremely physical. Like, if you could have a body of a cis woman but everyone still saw me as a guy, you would be pretty content. Really? That's interesting. Like that I just, is- I, I just want- don't want a dog body, I just want to be dog. <clears throat> I could put poison on, but uh, what's the white pine resin? Uh, pale pine resin. It puts magic on. Pale is that? Pale is that? Damn, this game's saying what well, it's more magical. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I need to stop talking. <laughs> We're in full-blown edge mode tonight. Holy shit! <laughs> Make HRT accessible everywhere. I mean, there was something that I did see about that. Which is like, yes. I'm gonna buy clothes. Because my character kind of looks shit and green. Aw, oh, damn it, he got me. I'm gonna try to get him with a poison. Poison's not working. Are we sure he's susceptible to poison? No, nope, didn't start taking. Um, figured you would. Throat hurts so bad from COVID. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, cat. You actually read a headline earlier today that they're trying to make HRT over the count of assist women. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was referring to. Yeah, which you know is a start. Um, will that apply to trans women? Probably not. Why would it? I mean, there's literally no reason to gatekeep this shit. It is a legitimate medical treatment for both cis women and trans women. And, of course, same with testosterone for trans men. And men. Cis men. Old Joe Rogan esque cis men who want to have testosterone in their bodies for some reason. Why would you want testosterone? You could why, just not. Why would you want to be a man? <laughs> oh my god, we're in full blown misandry mode. Oh god, misandry? It's not. Uh, misandry's not real. <laughs> if cis people don't just start buying hormones for trans people immediately after that starts, I mean, yeah, true. Damn you, Christian capitalism. Finally got a test level test. Fuck yes. Hell yes. Love it. Managed to nearly triple your prescription. You're sending your excess to your girlfriend in Tough Island. If you can lie and send drugs abroad, they can take a fiver and buy all of drugs. Right? Fuck are people ordering HRT online from? I get mine through the chemist because. Why should they have the Netherlands? Oh yeah. 
my my endo was really like good and it was like our first meeting within five minutes she, she was just like okay so what we're gonna do is an informed consent form I assume you know it was like yeah okay like just literally I walk in there and she starts going on about informed consent I'm like I was expecting this to be way more intensive <laughs> um I had to do four um uh, appointments with the <clears throat> guy because I was still technically a minor. Oh yeah. But it was originally for uh, Royal Children's, but then I didn't contact me for like 30 years and then I turned like 17. I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it my way because I can now. Yeah. And I did. And I basically called this guy and uh, I had like four uh, video calls with him because we were in the first, first ninja lockdown. Yeah. yeah. And then I just kind of like, damn, I've got estrogen now. Fuck yeah. Estrogen! And why shouldn't we be allowed to have it? Like, legit. It's, it's so dumb. Why shouldn't we be allowed? It, and it all comes down to bodily autonomy and all. We have that discussion. Why can't you just be happy with the body you have? I don't know. Your body is a temple. I want to get piercings. I want to get tattoos. Why can't you just be happy? I want to get my balls cut off. Why can't you just leave your body alone? Because I don't believe in... The natural order of things? It's fucking trash, actually. Because God doesn't... Because God is a mistake. God made mistakes, and God is a mistake. So, yeah. It's really stupid. Like, no one's gonna OD on estrogen. Right? That's, that's not a valid concern. <laughs> My body, bitch, I can do what I... Exactly! Like, I, I fucking hate that... You know, people shouldn't be allowed to do this with their bodies is still an argument anyone's using. Like, it's not your body, why the fuck do you care? Just remember, bodily autonomy is a <clears throat> is A-OK -okay until it affects the white and white with women. Oh yeah, true. Why do you think there's so much fetishization of tattooed women? Like... <laughs> oh man, I love chicks with tattoos. Yeah, we know why, because you don't see them often, because women get told not to get tattoos, because they'll ruin their perfect womanly skin. No man will ever respect you if you've got tattoos, love. Yeah, you'll never find a respectable skin. husband. It's great. It's like, yeah, great. I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm going to be as gay as I want, and the tattoos are a part of that. <laughs> the fuck are you? I'm <laughs> Perfect womanly skin should be used as a canvas for my cool drawings my friends make. Hell yeah. Babe. I wanna be drawn on. I want I want my tattoos. Don't make me change the goal up there to a tattoo goal. No, I'm I'm Don't you fucking dare. I'm not spending the money on tattoos. Good. I will save the tattoos. I want a new house. Yes, I wanna leave. I wanna get out of here. I hate this house so fucking much, you have no idea. Oh, we're nowhere near I, I, I hate that I can't, I can never find the fucking toilet door light. Uh, the, to the toilet door handle. So I'll, 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 I'll just be thumping around in the dark because I've got to bring my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I like thumping around in the dark. <laughs> fucking hell. This is a very horny stream. I love how like I've been in other streams up there. This is such a horny stream. Oh, it's so lewd, and it's like somebody made a remark about a nipple one time. Yeah. And it's like, oh wow, cool, so horny, bro. Good job. Not that I'm trying to make this a necessarily horny stream. Really. Me too, horny, my dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot he could do that. Do what? He just went invisible and teleported to me. That's cool. Gail, you cunt! You're not allowed to do that to me. That's illegal. That's transphobic. I don't know why. But just, just take my word for it. I mean, I too am just, I'm scared of pranks. <laughs> this is how we do horny streams. This is how I am outside, like on and offline. <laughs> I mean, you've got to be your authentic self, right? I can't stand people who are obviously like cultivating their persona for their online presence. <clears throat> Please be genuine in who you are. Want nipple rings when your breasts grow? I mean, yeah. I thought about it. I've got one innie, <clears throat> one outie. Fun fact. Uh, it's really <laughs> cute. Fact. It's really cute. It is. 
ending your blood being in your mouth that comes out. <laughs> Just like this one. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> I'm never getting Twitch partner, I'll get banned before I get that stupid fucking tick next to my name. I I do not want to get my girlfriend banned, so I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> two nipples. I don't have two belly buttons. How's that gonna work? I haven't that one has an Addy. So you have to Oh fuck. Yeah. I should probably have give up adorable on belly button. Belly button. Belly button. Belly button. I want to eat ice cream. I have got no more pine resin. Um, I have got other pine resins, but we'll try pale. Probably won't work well. You can't get a BA if you do. Oh, really? Can I get a BA if you get your nibs pierced? What? You can. Yeah, I feel like they've lied to you there. You definitely can. Like, maybe some places wouldn't, but... Uh, you just have to take them out for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Might have to get them re Um, because my girlfriend's had her first time. Uh, BA consult. Yeah. I wanted to get a BA consult. I'm so disappointed I've got around for her. She just can't afford to get them. Because it's ten thousand fucking dollars. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Which is kind of bullshit because uh, her brother's also trans and her parents paid for his top surgery but wouldn't pay for hers. Fuck that. Holy shit. I know how bullshit's that. That is ridiculous. Can we say trans misogyny? <laughs> oh my god, you got the Jeopardy question format right, unlike the Babylon Bee when they made a joke about Amy Schneider. Uh, trans woman Jeopardy champ who won like 40 games. That was kind of a bit of a discourse for a bit. Literally transos were getting mad because it was somehow an indictment of her male privilege that she was winning Jeopardy games. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. God damn it. I think Bachelor of Arts for a minute? No. God damn, I'm, I'm sick of this guy. Be pretty based if you could have a prehensile tail. Also, I've noticed, um... Who was it recently that was talking of, like, bringing up that stupid argument again that if we allow people to medically transition, sooner or later people are gonna be asking to get, like, what, um, fucking... I'm trying to think for a sec. Uh, trying to get like robot limbs, or like trying to basically do transhumanist shit. Oh You're no! You're gonna sacrifice your your meat body. Oh no! Oh no! How awful! Yeah, my meat body fucking hurts. Yeah. Yeah, my meat body doesn't work. Thanks. <laughs> Th thanks for pointing out that that's a bad thing. Now can I get a robotic hip? That because that sounds fucking awesome. Right. Gonna be the sexiest robot ever, hell yeah. I'm actually just gonna become a real doll, let's be honest. <laughs> I want I just wanna shoot lasers out of my hands, okay? Get out of my nips. I mean I don't actually have any particularly major issues with my body. Not really. I mean, it's nice. Not that I know of. I've got some respiratory issues that are recurring but are not persistent, which has worried me with COVID, but I got through COVID alright. It's been double back. But, you know, like, a, a, for a time there, I, mean, I don't think I noticed it the most recent winter, but every single winter for a good few years there, I would have, like, a deathly cough that would incapacitate me. And. I ran every possible respiratory test you could, and they could not figure out what was wrong with me. Well, it seems like it, aren't they? Oh, that's a level 40. 
God damn it, I keep fucking swinging as he's doing his overhead thing. I could, but do I wanna? I'm pretty tired. I don't know if I want to go to bed yet. It's I mean, like, you can, you can hop off. I'll be going to bed. <laughs> You've seen a woman without a hand make a prosthetic of a tentacle for herself instead of another hand. That's fucking awesome. Being able to switch from a dick to a vagina on the fly would be awesome with a robotic body. True! Oh, yeah. Legit. Yes. Yes, that'd be sick. No. Carry a penis attachment around for easier pain. <laughs> they have those! That's called a strap on. No, there's a she -wee. What? <laughs> there's a she -wee. That's a thing. Legitimately, I don't mind my Babe, yes, what the okay. fuck is a she -wee? It's literally a thing that cis women stand with and it's like a funnel and they pee into it. And it oh, you mean like an this... STP device? Yeah. Wait, that that actually exists. I don't know why you would get it. Trans masks? It's... Well, I mean, yeah, trans masks might find some. But legitimately. I can't imagine that being. Oh, I suppose oh. if you're going. If you're someone who regularly goes. Places where there are gross public clothes, you probably want something like that. I mean, doesn't a funnel just work? You probably could use a funnel. It, prob it basically is just a funnel, but it's sort of like contoured to your body shape, so you know. Got it as a gag gift for your ex. Fucking sweet. I mean, yeah, sit stand sitting on a public toilet. Oh, I'm not standing on a public toilet. I mean, by all means, if you want to, go and stand on a public toilet. I, I won't stop you. I, I, I just fuss squat on them. I was very tempted to stand in the women's toilets the other day when we were at the shop. And I'm like, even though I'm in a cubicle, no one should be looking, I was I was dreading the thought that some woman, other woman, might come past and see me with my feet backwards, you know, from the typical sitting motion. They'll see me standing to pee, and I'll... When I'm... Wait, when you look under the cubicles to ask them for some uh, toilet paper and you just see someone with four legs. <laughs> you see someone proposing. Oh, oh they're proposing! <laughs> How adorable! <laughs> so happy for you two. Can I have some loo paper? Hang on, I need to pop off to the loo. Could I have some shit tickets? Like, <laughs> fuck. That is somehow the most fucking, fucking oh. Queensland ass thing I've ever <laughs> Fun fact, I've been to Queensland exactly one time when I was 11. I, I went to Ripley's Believe It or Not, that's the only thing I remember. I, I, I went to Queensland once, I went to Ipswich and got stabbed. Oh, fun. I want to get stabbed in Ipswich. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mumpy, let's get let's stab each other in Ipswich. <laughs> Fuck. TOS, TOS. I'm gonna take a break from letting him slap me for a moment and not dodging or hitting so I can get my stamina to regen. That's my problem. The reason I'm dying is because I'm running out of stamina and I can't dodge or hit. That is one good thing about Sekiro though, is it doesn't have a stamina bar. Like, Sekiro legit does not have a stamina meter. You just keep going until... But the, the difficulty is elsewhere. Or am I misremembering Sekiro? I'm pretty sure it doesn't have stamina. It's a differently designed game, it doesn't need one. You're not supposed to really rest because the combat is so intense and fast paced. Still though, Bloodborne is probably the peak of FromSoft design for me. The parry bar, yeah, you have posture. Yeah, and, and since Bloodborne, nothing has been fucking king. <clears throat> I, I mean, to be fair, like... It, like, once you find a thing that works, but then you see some kind of innovation. Elden Ring seems pretty innovative, so far. It really doesn't, from what I've seen. It just looks like another Dark Souls. I mean, I'm sure the fans want more Dark Souls. I want big Dark Souls. You want the- you have the trans flag painted on the back of your jacket. They say shit they can fuck off. I mean, I don't- I just personally don't want to get hate crime. I mean, the other night we literally went for a walk. Right? It was last night, wasn't it? And some guy drove down the road that we were walking down with these, like, what was it, like a, a floodlight? Like a, a oh, spotlights. A spotlight for, like, spotlights. like, for going mudding or um, hunting, hunting or whatever. Like, so there's bright lights, right? They had that on. I don't know why they would have that on on a suburban road. They did turn them on when they came up. Yeah, they turned, they turned that on. So, obviously, it was, it was an intentional thing. 
And then, like, a little bit later on, like, a, literally a minute or two later, they came past us again on the other, on the side of the road we were. I was fucking terrified. Or, yeah. so, or, or some, and some guy in some shitty, like, uh, station wagon, clearly from, like, the 70s, fucking honked his horn at us. True. Yeah. And I just put them off. <laughs> Lol. As he deserves. Kind of. Oh, and then there was those, those kids with my coolest. Yeah, that, I mean, that was that was more like awkward and kind of funny than anything else. I don't expect to get hate crime by a bunch of 15 year olds or anything else to happen, but they were just awkward teenagers trying to hit on hot girls, which was weird. Just like literally hot, old hot enough girls. to fuck their mother, so you know. Hot, hot girls old enough to arguably be their mother in some ways. <laughs> Slap. But I, that is a thing I genuinely think about a lot. Like the prospect of someone clocking me and then just losing their fucking mind at my existence and assaulting me or something. And it, it could get bad just by virtue of existing. Like, someone could have a problem with trans people, find, either clock me as trans or just assume. Did I just see a worm float across? I think that might have been a dragon. Oh, oh that's a game. fucking Gyarados. Hi, Gyarados. Sweet. Hi, Gyarados. That happened to your friend in NYT the other day. I mean, yeah, like... I mean, Keelan was hate crime. The world is transphobic, what can we say? The society we live in, while a bit more progressive, and that is not at all a bad thing, the fact that um, queer people are treated more respectably in the Western world to an extent is not a bad thing. Which, some... I, I really hate this fucking take. I mean, obviously, it's obligate transfer. That is the kind of thing. But it's like, oh, the West is so weak accepting all these fucking queers. You know, that's a, a blatantly stupid take. It's sort of pandering to more fascist ideas around queer. Um... You know. And yeah, like, the amount of stories I've heard, I am one of the few lucky queer folks that came out and their family accepted them. I mean, yeah, I did it at 31, because I, I was worried the whole time, but, you know, still, I fucking lucked out on having a family that didn't hate my fucking guts just for being who I am. Thank you for continuing your Yarrow. membership. Yarrow! Good morning from Montreal, how you Good doing? Good morning Thank from you, Montreal, Canada. Canada. Hi, friend. How you doing? 31 Club, let's fucking go. I mean, I'm an old baby trans. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing to be. Bring my baby. Bring my baby. <gasps> Maggie Cup! Give me Maggie Cup. Ah, oh, fuck you, Gale. This. Rock and Pine Resin ain't doing shit. I don't know who said you can put poison here. I know you can. I think you might need to use Dung Pies on him though. I might have to be toxic. Oh no, he's poisoned! There we go, we got him! Is it actually doing him? Yeah, it does, it's like, it's constant ticking damage. So basically now you see the numbers at the end of his health bar. That's just a constant tick of damage I've done to him at all. Nice. It'll all add up. Yeah. yeah, like once the poison runs out, It'll stop counting it up, but it's literally every point of damage I'm doing to him right now. It's, it's a running tally. <laughs> it is, hey. I love it. I love the sound of the rain. <laughs> Summer rain. Yes, it's so good, hey. Oh yeah, destructible environment. Yeah. Now we've got to deal with him throwing AOE blobs of shit around. Oh my god, he's literally just carrying now. Wait, what? Say that again. He's literally just Kieran. And then the monster going to rule a thunderbolt. Oh, oh Kieran, yes. That took me a second. I'm like, Kieran? Like, like Kieran Culkin? Why, did, Kieran why is Duffy. Kieran Culkin the first person that comes to mind when I hear that? No, Kieran Culkin. I'm gonna need to heal. God damn it, dude. Oh, I didn't put Tears of Denial on. No. Very happy that I had no issues coming. I'm very sorry and sad to see folks who were abused and yeah, kicked out, which is normal, Chris, honestly, sadly. I played it, actually. Hmm? I didn't play it. 
Really? I haven't played Red Dead 2. No. Um, Why the fuck haven't you played Red Dead 2? Because I don't want to play Cowboys anymore. Play Cowboys. I'm a girl now. <laughs> uh, getting weird audio. What kind of weird audio would you be getting? Is anyone else hearing any weird audio issues? Like, I, yeah, I really genuinely lucked out. Like, e almost every fucking trans or gay person that I've spoken to or see, like, read about on social media mainly or just, like, in general. You know, there's, there's so many stories of people having awful coming out experiences. Their family hates them, they don't accept them, they kick them out of home, and it's, like, it's so common that I feel incredibly privileged to have a supportive family. I never technically, I technically never came out of my dad. Which is probably a good thing, because I value my life. I mean, yeah. I mean, my, my, I've told Maddie this story, and I've probably told Chad this story a few times. But, like, me coming out to my dad was literally my mum, uh, not my mum, my sister. Just, like, uh, we were sitting there in his downstairs living room, sort of, like, talking. Doing Damn, that. he has a multiple story yes, house. Yes, he has a multiple yes. story house. And, um... So why is he paying for our place? I don't know. And Katie just literally sort of tells him, oh, by the way, they're going by Abby now. And he's just like, oh, yeah, uh, you, you, your sister told him, like the other sister that we have. And it's just like, it's, uh, that you're seeing stuff on like Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And I'm like, and that was it. That was his acknowledgement of me coming out. It was just like, oh, yeah, heard about that. I'm not going to tell my dad because, <laughs> you know, he kind of has a swastika tattoo on him. Oh, fuck that. Holy shit. What is wrong with people? How do they, like, I don't understand. It's literally like... I don't know, it's just... How can you align yourself with one of the most glaringly horrific groups in modern history? I don't understand that at all. I just... I struggle to fathom it. Because he's the most oppressed minority. A white man. Yeah. How do they become convinced of that shit? Pizza game. Did my parents expect it? Uh, no, not really, I don't think. Because I was genuinely, um, like, what was it, like, mass presenting the entire time. I, I never gave any even vague hints towards me being, uh, not, not even like a suggestion I might be gay for example. Because I heavily repressed into this weird complex. Which I know I'm probably using the term incorrectly. I do apologize for anyone who has an issue with that. I mean, yeah, like, I convinced myself I was a cishet man, right? Oh, fuck you, Jesus. Um. Well, I will, please. By the way, enjoy that lurk shit. Very lucky to have parents who are supportive. Good. Comp cishet, basically. To sum up. Comp sissy? And that was, a, that was a defense mechanism, like, I realized if I were to come out as a trans woman, um, and the, can we talk about the fact that trans people in general don't get the luxury of really coming out, so to speak, the same way, in, like, the same way that gay folks do? I mean, I don't know what, um, I mean, I think, like, part of it, if we do to go back, um, yeah, like, presenting cishet, mask, and all that was definitely a defensive mechanism, and it turned into repression and denial, like you said then, Mr. Like, it, it was definitely a denialism thing. For a while, I was convinced if I tried to be the most yeah, another massive round I could... on you. Yeah, I think it was 25 days. Um, I would, yeah, I was convinced if I just became really, really, you know, alpha male, actual masculine man, I'll be successful, and I'll be happy and comfortable, and people will like me, and it turned into a whole really awful thing. Yeah, and I was just, I was depressed despite the fact that I was kind of, in some ways, reaching those goals, I guess. But those goals were not the goals that I should have been seeking. Which is kind of funny that going into fitness so heavily, you know, going to the gym, working out to get big and muscly and all that, has gone from being, yeah, I still got that muscle, I'm still working out on a nearly daily basis. It went from a, a coping mechanism to try and hide behind masculinity into a thing that's now an assertion of my feminine. Being a muscly woman is something that I want to be. I aspire to strong women. Right? You aspire to women. I aspire to women. I aspire to let the end. Let the Let the end. Let the end. Go. 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 
Okay. I look up to people like, say for example, um, what's her name on Twitter? Um, Claire something? This big strong girl who cosplays as Vi. Yeah, 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 Claire. And um, like Alana McLaughlin and people like that. Tough girls. Yeah, they're really hot and they're really tough. They're muscly. Alana McLaughlin can probably dislocate my jaw. Please dislocate my jaw, Alana McLaughlin. I just love some of the shit she gets in DMs where she's just like, no. <laughs> but the thing is, MMA is primarily a young one. And it's just a sport that they always find fucking hilarious. Claire is a fucking inspiration, right? Just buff girls in general are inspiration. Mommy, who woo. Uh, sometimes how we deal with it as far as an not accepting family goes. Well, I mean, yeah. But, yeah, and the, the weird thing is, it's like, I, I don't... I never saw my family as the kind that would be unaccepting of me being trans. Um, or gay, or whatever. And yet, and I proved myself right when I did come out. I was totally fine. Colleen Foch? Oh, God, yes. Fuck yes. Um, Abby from The Last of Us too, like, the body model for... Oh, wait, that's a... <laughs> Oh my god, I need to show you the body model for, uh, the, uh, stock female, uh... You are too kind. Um, model for the world. Okay. Um, yeah, I thank you for gifting us up to Meryl, by the way. Meryl deserves it. Meryl is based as fuck. Meryl good people. Meryl friends. What, what Meryl, Meryl seen my boobies. What is Meryl based on? <laughs> what is Meryl based on? You are too kind. And the devil I've been thanking so much. I'm just gonna swig here. Chuck a tantrum. He's gonna do it. He's chucking a tanty. He's literally like the video game representation of my daughter if you take the computer away from her. <laughs> I should not say that! That's a bad thing! Oh my god. The video game representation uh, Enjoy your membership. Um, Meryl, thank you for gifting us up to Banshee Bree. Everyone's getting subs tonight. We've hit like a lot. We've hit a lot of subs today. I am subs. And there's a new hype train close. Someone else gift a sub or cheer 100 bits now. Give me your money because I deserve it. Oh yeah, true. I don't get all of it. Can we talk about how Twitch streamers need to unionize? Like Amazon workers? Yeah, true. Don't buy subs on mobile, folks, because, like, Apple and Google and all that will take a massive cut and charge you, the end user, more for it, which is fucking... Don't donate. Fuck Hype Trains. Donate. <laughs> yeah, true. I should say fuck Hype Trains. Tip directly to the moving fund, but, also, I mean, I still get sub, money out of this. Sub, it. Yeah, it's tricky. Bezos stealing trans streamers cash. True. We need that money for our GCS and our hormones and our speed um, and our weed and stuff. Weed is HRT. Uh, I've, yeah. Can we just appreciate the fact that the um uh, the guy who has written for um, what was called for like nearly thirty years uh, for Law and Order is named Speedweed. Oh, I know, right? What the fuck is that about? Is that like just a, a stage name, like a, just a writer's name, or that, that can't be his legal name? Surely, it's a pseudonym. I feel like my my capacity to dodge Gale right now is looking more impressive than it is. <laughs> I tried dodging the gay for 31 years and I failed. You can yeah. never dodge the gay. Yeah, exactly. Eventually the gay catches you. If you look far you enough into the gay. gay, the gay looks back. You don't catch the gay. Gaze into the abyss. Oh, he got me the cunt. There's a guy named Dick. 
<laughs> I know this is probably a meme, but there is that, that meme. Uh, well, yeah, meme. The meme. Rogue Room appreciates that's your recommendation. A uh, interview of a guy that's called Mike Litoris. And I'm like, I'm not 100% sure if that's 100% fake or not. Like, I could see a guy being called Michael Litoris. I mean, it's. Who's to say there's not someone out there whose surname is Litoris and he goes by Mike? It, it's possible. By the way, thank you for the host, Yarrow. I staggered him again. Fuck. I should do Sekiro just so I can show you how bad I am at hitting the buttons in the right timing. I haven't, like, for some reason, and I'm not saying this is a dig at Sekiro, but one playthrough was enough for me. I don't really feel the motivation to play it like I have with, um... Uh, like, play it to completion, like, platinum trophy completion, like I have with the soul. And, like, what I've played of Elden Ring, I want to play that to completion, too, but... For some reason, Sekiro just feels different. I, I'm not... Because it's shit. It's not shit, though. It's like, it's a good game. How can you not... How, how can you know, when was the last time you played it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when did it come out? 2019? 18? Or Reaper's really? No, it was 19, sorry. Oh. I'm well, just going to see now. Yeah, I think it was early 2019. Oh fuck, I survived that, damn it. I just gave up. I put I stopped pressing buttons and I didn't realize I still had help. Help up. Um it reminds me of that US politician Dick Sweat. <laughs> um where are we? Sekiro 2 with character creation? I don't think we're gonna get Sekiro 2. I think FromSoft is done with that license because they didn't like working with Activision. Nobody likes working with Activision. Nobody should like working with Activision. Exactly. Unless you have, like, an abusive workplace kink, you know. I mean, isn't that why, um, Kojima stayed with Konami for 30 years? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Konami is Konami. <laughs> no, no, no. This was that was a bad run. Why did I even try? Thank you, dresses, for catching things instead of jeans and shit slipping between your legs. I just want big enough boobs that when I'm eating something with crumbs, crumbs will fall in my cleavage. And then I can lick them up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like after I'm gone to the gym, right, and I come back and I eat a particularly <clears throat> crummy piece of bread and I'm coated in sweat. <sighs> oh, okay, I gotta uh, stop. There's probably. Uh... <laughs> I'm making them both oh, come just stop. by saying this shit. <laughs> I mean... You're not wrong. <clears throat> Do I need to break out the D-Word? Dick Dixon. <laughs> Dick Dixon. <laughs> D-Gents. Oh. Oh, Fucking stop. Christ. Stop. No, no, stop. <laughs> he, he, he needs to stop. I'm sorry. We've been going at it tonight, like. Oh, we'll go at it later. I'm waiting for it. Oh, and I need to stop. Yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I'm doing terribly now because I'm distracted by sex jokes. Uh. Jokes. What? <laughs> what are the jokes? Um, jokes? Where? You love Kojima's Death Stranding game. I haven't played Death Stranding, I've heard good things. It's good. I like it. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. I've heard like it's a massive walking sim, an 80 hour walking sim. It's not 80 hours, it's about 60. And but I've heard the, that it's also like... The, the, walking, the walking is very therapeutic. It's okay. actually really nice, it's really nice music. Oh, uh, yeah, it's basically, like the entire music thing was basically entirely done by Low Roll. Oh, I fucking love Low Roll. They got me too low. Oh, that's good. And also I, also, I want to fuck everyone. Except when a freaking cracker pokes a hole in... In your, in your what? In your tossed in boobs. What? I am Sonya Belmont. I, I, what, what does that mean? Ali, what does that mean? I'm confused. Where, 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 yeah, where, 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 where. I, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Amazon <laughs> boobers. Oh. Is that what you mean? Fuck me, that was terrible. Breastplate? I want a breastplate. I want an arm, armor sleeve. 
not very well. I want a leather armor sleeve specifically. Like I want something I can wear that looks just like I'm wearing a bit of alt wear, basically. I want a like an armor sleeve and pauldron to wear around. So it's like simple, subtle, not overdone. I'll show you exactly what it means. Because I just want to like get around looking ridiculous with like my my right arm covered in or left arm actually. Maybe left arm would be better because that's where I want to get my, my robot arm covered. It'd be probably pretty cool just get around with a thing that's vaguely resembling. Don't mind me, I'm just talking about stupid fashion choices. Gail, eat a Snickers! So he goes back to his like Gail, you Gail, you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So sad that silicon gummy stuff started oozing out, so you tossed them in a sandwich bag. Oh, well. Yeah, don't touch that silicon gummy stuff. That's yeah. not healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely feel like you're addicted to Twitch chatting, really? How so? I mean, it's not a bad thing to have something you enjoy. I I could be. She says just playing fucking Pokemon. But I'm enjoying this. It's been a lot of fun having you both sort of just involved. Yeah, but you're still involved. You're still in this scenario. I'm still the streamer primarily. Why did I go for the fucking? Oh, I didn't know for the attack there. Or oh, there. Now I've got no stamina left. I'm bad at this game. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good way to procrastinate. I mean, really. I should pop a streamer on tomorrow while I'm trying to like pack away more things. I could put on a Russia Today games. I could, or I could put on Vati. Um, or Lamp. You want to pack stuff and fall asleep. I, I don't want Vati. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's a lullaby. I think I already have like 6 or 7 hours in Pokemon Oscars. Hello, friend. It's me. Your favorite deep voice Australian soul creator. Today we are going to be exploring the story of Snake and Dale. Slate Night Gale has a tragic story. Prepare to cry. Prepare to cry at my sampling statements. <laughs> We do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can do it for you. Today I received my income from Centrelink. <laughs> After I pay my bills, I will most surely be in negative and will not be able to afford groceries for the week ahead. I have to rely on my supplemental income as a toilet cleaner. <laughs> this was me! <laughs> <laughs> You've heard my voice too. Well, my this is my voice. You've heard my 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 math. You've heard my old voice. Too. I literally can't do my old voice now. I'm proud of that. I can't actually do my old voice, and I wasn't trying to there. No. I, I, I can do my old voice. Give me the lighter. That actually oh, that actively, actively hurt to do. Fang up the fucking dowry cunt. Have I heard the Doctor K drama? No, I have not. Because of all the trans people in the debate bro chats, it's more like just me arguing with people. That doesn't sound fun. That sounds like pain. The strip of Velcro attached to the cable used for your controller and it's become Biscuit's biggest fascination. Oh, cat. She comes near me at all, she has to eat the Velcro. Am I just, just over here in the corner at the moment? Just like literally between a box and a bag of clothes I'm throwing out. And is he's he even been alive? there for ages. He's just sleepy. <laughs> sleepy boy. All he knows is be small and sleepy. Yeah. Well, he also does fuck llama. I'm glad that that's worked out for him, but at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ, he needs to chill a little bit. I mean, it's just a, it's just a pair of young adults enjoying their um, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. I'm not doing good. 
I am really struggling with this fight now. I was doing well before I could get to like later phases. Yeah. Mm, I'm probably just exhausted. I am exhausted. I think I'm pretty fucking tired actually. We might have to call it soon. Well, you've been streaming for four hours. Four hours and a bit. Um. Let's see. You really want to get another cat so Biscuit can have her own size family to run around with? I mean, yeah. That'd be nice. I mean, Smudge will have family. Kitty cat family. I've been wanting another kitty cat for a while. We're gonna get one. Actually, we're gonna get a thing. Yes, we can get a thing. Just <laughs> we just have to call him Kosher. Okay. I want, I want like a, a completely hairless cat that I can dress up in cute little warm outfits. We're gonna knit, we're gonna knit the Sphinx cat little outfit. Nice try, slave knight. Gay, ha, uh, got him. Got him. Be such a bottom. I could wear his outfit and find him now. Comrades is mid -ear no more. mid -ear is dead. We fucked mid -ear off. We also beat Half-Light. We've gotten to phase three on Gale. I think we could possibly beat Gale if I were to, like, not respect my body and keep pushing through. How are you, Buddha? Not that I, I respect my body though. anyway. I, I overtrain like a motherfucker. Aww. I should open shot my friend. So that's just the same like greatsword spinning attack that the player has with the regular greatsword for multiple reasons. I think there is a side you want to flank to by the face. I think it's the side. Oh, maybe not. Oh no! I got stuck in the fucking thing. I wanted to heal, so I had more health. I don't think he does his fucking tantrum in these phases after this point. I don't think he has any really huge combos. It's actually quite not annoying to fight. It's just baffling. Because he is still an annoying cunt to fight in the first place. Mommy? I can't look at mommy. I want to look at mommy. Can you take a screenshot? You can take a screenshot of that. <laughs> ah, fuck you. That move keeps fucking getting me. Here we go, he's phasing. He's phasing up. Does the lightning affect him too? No, it doesn't. It should. I mean, that'll make the boss fight too easy. But I swear he was electrified for a second there. I'm pretty sure it's not like a charged creature situation. Oh, I love that move though. That's fucking sick. That, that fucking front flip he does. I'm pretty sure you can do that with the, um, the undead. What? Damn it. Oh, he broke through fucking tears. You cunt. Oh my god. Cunt pills. 
Based and not based. Cringe and cunt pilled. I'm red pilling against Gale now. Damn, you red pilled that gay hole. <laughs> you put on his armor, I could call myself Abigail. I don't have it in my inventory at the moment. It's in the storage box. That was a pretty good one, though. So it was a good stream today. It was really interesting hearing your GS experience in SW. I'm glad we could open some discussion there and have that. So far, so good on this stream. Yeah, thank you. It was really good. Abigail Hall. <laughs> Taking the L for gay L. That's so by the way, if you, yeah, if anyone wants to follow at Ari Cuddle Queen on Twitter, in my follows if you do that. I think did I no I didn't retweet that photo. Oh yeah, it's in my bio. You can just literally click on my Twitter bio. And you can follow cute SWGF. Give me money so I can get out a pussy for Christmas. <laughs> Sad you missed the SW discussion. I mean, we'll we'll put that up on YouTube. Like the whole vod will be on my offline YouTube channel. On Rogue Offline, um, type exclamation mark YouTube or exclamation mark YT in chat, and you can check that out if you want to. It's got all my vods from as far back as I can recall. Um, no, like old, 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 old stuff, but because you know any exist any evidence that I was a streamer before I came out doesn't exist. It got deleted, wiped off the face of the earth. Actually, there's like two or three clips that remain from when I was pre-trans. I'm not going to show you them. Ow. Already so up, there you go. Would I ever go on a debate panel? I'm not educated or in, um, intellectually curious enough to go on a debate panel, honestly. I don't have enough sources, I don't do research. I'm lazy. Uh, I play Dark Souls. <laughs> I have strong opinions about certain things which are generally informed by the actual facts of the matter, but I, I don't want to listen to some debate bro deride me for having a certain opinion of the thing. Especially if it comes up to the fucking trans thing. Abby Podcast Show, like, I'll talk to people I want to have a friendly conversation with, but I don't want to debate people. It, it seems like a toxic atmosphere. And I mean, I, a hot take here, debate generally seems like just a roundabout way of negotiating human rights, and I'm like, no, let's not. Wouldn't recommend anyone go on debate panels, they're just designed to make people make a cool gotcha statement whether it's true or not, so we get clipped and spread. I mean, yeah, that's, that's it. My god, can you make me those sausage rolls again? Test, hello, did you know? No, I ate the rest of them. <laughs> Sorry. I can make them. Actually, make them for the kid. That'd be sweet. Yeah, I'll, get, make, I'll make sure I get the ingredients, I'll make sure I get the stuff there as well. Uh, much more interesting is all trans discussion panels, yes. If all these nutjob right wingers do is gotcha BS, yeah. That's, yeah, I wouldn't debate, like, if it was, I mean, in general. I wouldn't debate in general, but it definitely seems like um, the right wing, in particular, method. You just throw a bunch of BS at you so quickly, like the gish gallop sort of situation. And then you have to spend time debunking every single point, wasting time debunking every single point. Um, because they don't need to make logical, factual statements. They just need to have opinions about things that they can spout really quickly. Yeah, um, debate about best Dark Souls boss. I mean, that could be interesting. We're, we're fighting what I consider to be one of the best Dark Souls bosses. But I mean, Artorius is a very close second. Um. Oh. Um, I'll tell you what's not going to be on that list, though. Any boss from Dark Souls 2, they're all trash. Let's debate butt plug. Pros and cons. Leg day with a butt plug in. Hell yeah, Artorius. I mean, Gale and Artorius both have the same root of guts from the dirt. They're both very heavily inspired by guts. In different respects. Ow. Ceaseless Discharge. <laughs> no, Bed of Chaos is clearly the best Dark Souls boss because Cease uh, Bed of Chaos has contributed so much to Souls discourse in over the years. Everyone talks about Bed of Chaos, so thereby 
It must be the best Dark Souls boss. By virtue of being the most popular subject. You'll see, I'll actually get the best Dark Souls boss. Fuck off. <laughs> Nobody likes Crystal Sage. That was the joke. I don't think anybody even remembers Crystal Sage. Crystal Sage is not really a boss so much as like a mosquito bite. Fucking annoying. And you'd rather not have to deal with it. Died to oh, I'm not saying like in terms of it being weak, I'm saying it's just annoying. It's not fun or um, interesting and in terms of the mechanics, it's just frustrating. <laughs> so, I didn't choose the afterlife to start, so now he just lives in a box. Ha! <laughs> He's just perpetually tra trapped in a box. You made the Oshawott homeless! Like... In a box though! Relic gets a tree. <laughs> Oshawott gets a little wet box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then Cinderfield would have gotten a little, uh, break house thing. Um... Did we kill- Yes, we did kill Midim. It is dead. Um, yeah. Black is the new pink. Crystal Sage is so funny. Uh, you adore DS2. Why? Like, legitimately why, though? You could play better games. You could literally just play Lords of the Fallen and it's a better Dark Souls game than Dark Souls 2. I will call this the last attempt. This is, yeah, this is the last attempt. I'm not doing any more of this one. I'll give it my all, but, you know, if I die, that's it. We're calling. Hell yeah! You better be following my DF. Oh, god damn. Oh no, he didn't do it again. Okay. I thought he broke through Tears of Denial again, which is just bullshit. Like... The fact that the bosses can hit you multiple times through Tears of Denial kind of ruins the point of it. I mean, I'm doing it. I'm getting it. Do it? Oh no, I can't. Well, thank you for giving a heck, Vox. Um, so what do we, we we got mid here last night, didn't we? Yes, we got mid here last night, and then we did um, uh, blah 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 blah. We did Half Light Spear of the Church tonight, and then yeah, we've been fighting Gale for the past like three hours and a bit. You're a trans woman and somehow never played any of the DS games. I mean, there's plenty of games that people say are trans games that I've never touched. I didn't finish uh, Fallout New Vegas because I thought it was honestly pretty fucking boring. Um, like, I know that the story was captivating enough, but the gameplay itself was just not. I couldn't deal with that shit. Only one Huggies per street. Yes, otherwise people will just spam them. Also, like, I don't know if I've changed my lighting settings on my cameras or whatever, but right now my, um... My, um... <laughs> My lighting's making my hair look black, and I'm kind of like... Um, the, the like oh, yeah, the lights in here are down. Okay, yeah. I'm liking the fact that my hair looks black right now, and I kind of fuck with it. Yeah. Anyways, let's put our, our Spotify back on here, and we'll go to the regular thing. Um, thank you all for hanging out, by the way. It's looking sexy. It is. It is. Which makes sense, because I am. So, yeah. Mm. Um, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Pardon? Oh, on the, okay, okay, I know who we're going to. Um, thank you everybody for hanging out tonight. We're going to raid Glitchcraft. Um, because Glitchcraft is literally playing Dark Souls 3. So, there we go. Um, pardon? What? Oh, Dying Light. You said there you go, so I said there you go. Oh, okay. Just repeating what you said. Sweet. Anyway, I'm not going to play Dying Light 2. I tried Dying Light 1. I'm sick of zombie games. I'm so fucking sick of zombie games. I'm so fucking sick of zombies. Can we stop doing zombies? Anyway, um, yeah. Who was that? Well, that's Maddie, and Soph was the other one. So, yeah. Anyways. 
combat is tired, it's like you're dancing on the edge of a knife. The build system is cool, all about all the lore about civilizations. The combat is absolutely not tighter in Dark Souls 2. It's not. I'm just going to say that like unequivocally right now. Anyway, here's the Gundam. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow for the final stream of the week. And hopefully we kill Gale and then Soul of Cinder and then we're done with this Dark Souls run with the whip. Which has been fun, but also a fair bit tedious. So, be kind to yourselves and each other. Oh, Glitch is gone. We'll be right back. Screen, whatever. Um, I love your faces, be kind to yourselves and each other, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. Bye.